get that deep and drawing that foul. Imani Holmes will replace Josiah Holmes. Two shots coming up for Deja Harden. Harden, free throw is no good off the left side of the rim. Second attempt coming up for Harden. Harden connects, one or two from the free throw line. We'll have a substitution for the Benedict Tigers. Briasia Lester was tucked in, and Madison Golden will go sit down. Benedict still in that full court press. Nyla Allen bringing the ball to court, guarded by Kaya Evans. Allen looking, hands it off to Deshaya Jones. Bird now with the ball. Bird receives a screen from Imani Hamilton. She's hedged. Doesn't seem phased by it. Bird looking, looking, looking. Hands it off to Allen. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Allen, series, a crossover move. Penetrates, kicks it out to her. Her pass it out to Josiah Jones. Three point attempt coming up for Jones, and she Ooh. connects. That's her second straight three made. He definitely got to get out to her and contest that. A great shot by Josiah Jones. 43-35, Savannah State with the eight-point lead. Harden runs out of triple. Stolen by Josiah Jones after the backdoor cut. It was failed by Kaya Evans. Bird now with the ball. Gets it inside to her. Her looking. Bounce pass to Imani Hamilton. Bent raise jump shot. And she connects on the left side. Savannah State now with the double digit lead 45 35. Deja passes it outside to Elasia Nash. He's swinging around the perimeter. Harden looking, looking, looking. Gets it inside, and it'll be a turnover by Benedict. After she tried to look inside to Gallman, Emaya Gallman, but she could not keep her hands on it. It'll be a turnover for Benedict. Shakira Duncan will check in for Benedict as long as saw Deja Jackson. Deja Harden will sit down, and so will Emaya Gallman. Deja Jackson guarding Nyla Allen. They trap her. She splits the double team but was loses it. Mm. Right into the hands of Elijah Nash. Elijah Nash dribbling. Oh, oh she definitely, carried. yeah. yeah. She double dribbled. And that's something that Coach Rice cannot believe. You had a transition point. You had a three-on-one break after the steal. You want yep. to get points off of that. But it results in a turnover. Yeah, she got indecisive of whether or not she wanted to pass it to Shakira Duncan. And she ended up putting it back down because the pass got closed. Thread the needle pass from Bird to Hurd. Yeah. It would be a turnover for Savannah State. She tried to throw a needle pass to Amaria Hurd down court, but she put a little bit too much mustard on it. Turnover for Savannah State. Madison Golden will now sub in for Benedict. Benedict, uh, the wo women Tigers for Benedict, they were a really turnover pro team. I'm actually kind of surprised Savannah State don't, don't have more transition points opportunities than we're accustomed to seeing from them. And that shot was put up by Kaya Evans. It was no good and it went out of bounds. Savannah State ball with 43 seconds left. But perhaps though, Benedict also too, they're doing a great job too in getting back despite the few outlet passes that Savannah State have had over the course of this game. Briasia Lester will now sub in for Madison Golden. Allen being trapped in the backcourt. She's looking, lobs it up to Bird. And almost a steal by Kaya Evans. Bird pushes the pace. She gets inside. What a pass to her and it's good. That basket was by Amaya, uh, Amari Hurd. Hurd deflects out of bounds and will remain Benedict's ball. What a great feat from Maya Bird to Amari Hurd. Something that they have done all year long, the great duo that Savannah State has. Aliyah Carlock will now sub in for Savannah State. Sitting down will be Amari Hurd. 20 seconds left in this first quarter. Kaya Evans being guarded by Deshaya Jones. She bounced past it. It was a kick ball by Deshaya Jones. Shot clock no longer on. 17 seconds left in this first quarter. Madison Golden without checking at the scores table. Golden will now check in for Lester. Evans is the inbounder. She's looking. Bounce past it to Golden. She couldn't handle it. But it was tipped by Leah Carlock of Savannah State who remain Benedict's ball with 15.3 seconds left in this first quarter. You know, it's actually interesting that Coach Rice hasn't had Christmas Taylor in the game, you know, that much. 
Shakira Duncan with the right hand move, no good. It was tipped. And it would be Savannah State's ball. Shakira Duncan tried to go with the underhand right layup, did not connect, went out of bounds. Maya Bird now with the ball. Eight seconds left, seven seconds left. Bird being trapped. Pass it out to Deshaya Jones. Jones puts up the shot. No good off the front of the rim. Rebound Shakira Duncan. And time runs out. Savannah State with a 12-point lead. 35-45, Savannah State leads. Yeah, real quick, I just want to say that Christmas not being in the game is actually kind of a surprise, but however, it kind of makes sense. I think Coach Rice wants to go with a little bit more of a guard-oriented offense to try to take defenders off the dribble and get some fast and off fouls. As we, have, as, as we have both teams break for a halftime correction, we have both teams correct for a halftime with the Savannah State 12-point lead, 35-47. You guys are watching the Black College Coach. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. We'll be right back at the start of the third quarter. Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you, got, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website www.slowburnwaco.com That's www.slowburnwaco.com you see Head & Shoulders has a scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working! I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot -E com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? 
<laughs> oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never not working. Never not working. Never, ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Standard protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you, got, you guys do for us. is a premium health and wellness tea line focused on bringing delicious yet healthy tea blends to the community. Filled with an abundance of vitamins and antioxidants, we work to blend teas with exotic spices and fruits to produce scrumptious and wholesome beverages. So check us out at MyMajestees.com. That's M-Y-M-A-J-E-S-T-E-A-S.com. My Majesties, an Urban Passport member. Let's face it, shopping for insurance can be time consuming. That's why when it comes to your auto, home, and life insurance needs, make things simple and trust the experts at Allstate. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember. They can use less. Sweet pillows of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll it back, everybody. <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN. So we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN. We really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. co-host of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. 
Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's gonna be lit. Okay, our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you there. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate it. Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network. I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside by me is Jamal Rowland, where we give you a Savannah State Tigers 12-point lead over the Benedict College Tigers, 47-35. But as of right now, Jamal Rowland will give you his halftime assessments and the stats for, for both teams. Yeah, looking at this, Savannah State, you know, they made more shots and they also made more threes. With Maya Bird leading away with 14 points, three of five from the three-point line, and uh, Aaliyah Ash, Oh, excuse me, Alasia Ash leading away with 11 points as well. Uh, they're actually tied in points in the paint, but my assessment here is that um, I think Benedict, in order for them to win this game, is to continue with their guard-oriented lineup and try to continue some iso play and get, get take the defenders off the dribble and get to the basket. For Savannah State, keep moving the ball because they right now they have a 12 assist to Benedict's three. So keep moving the ball and keep getting open threes because that's where they're beating Benedict at, at the three-point line. And also just easy open jump shots with their driving kicks. We are only a minute away from the start of the third quarter. That was Jamal Rowland's halftime assessments and halftime stats. We will be right back as both teams start the third quarter. You guys, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website www.slowburnwaco.com That's www.slowburnwaco.com 
You see, Head & Shoulders has scalp shield technology, protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working. I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield, never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. Welcome back, everyone, to the Black College Sports Network. We are at the start of the third quarter with the Savannah State Tigers lead 47-35. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside, my, alongside me is Jamal Rowland, Jr. Savannah State will get the ball at the start of this third quarter. The five on the floor for Savannah State will be Maya Bird, Jashia Jones, Imani Hamilton, Nyla Allen, and Amari Hurt. For Benedict, you have Elasia Nash, Aaliyah Lawrence, Kaya Evans, Taylor Christmas, and Tai Treasure. Oh, my gosh. What a move by Nyla. The snatch back. We have a missed layup right there by Jashia Jones. And Taylor Christmas is not back in the game. I honestly feel like Coach Rice kind of took her out because she was a liability defensively because Savannah State has a lot of guards and wings, and then they was probably taking her off the dribble and beating her to the basket. But let's see what she can contribute with her now back in the game. We have bodies on the floor. Referees make no call. Bodies still on the floor. As Amari Hurd and Aaliyah Lawrence tie up for it. Madison Golden will now sub in for it. And also, too, looking at these stats that every, a lot, everything looks identical. Turnovers almost identical. Um, points in the paint almost identical. Rebounds almost identical. The main difference Stolen is Stolen right here by Imani Hamilton. I didn't mean to cut you off, Jamal. you good. Another jump ball, but and the, only, the only thing that's not identical is the three-point makes and attempts and the field goal makes and attempts. Like, hey, this is a make-or-miss league, so you got to make shots. Uh, the, in terms of field goal attempts, is roughly about the same, but Savannah State has just made more of those shots. Maya Bird bringing the ball because she was a major contributor in the first half. Bird looking, what's, what a pass to Amari Hurt. And she connects on the deuce, 49-35 Savannah State leads. What a dish by Maya Bird to Amari Hurt. And that's the plus of having you know guards and wings in the game. Everybody can see and make passes. Christmas now with the ball, passes back out to Golden. Golden passes back to Christmas. Christmas coming up for three, no good off the back of the rim. Rebound, Madison Golden, pump fake, goes up strong with the layup. She doesn't take a lot of threes, but she is a willing shooter. She will take those shots and occasionally make those. Nyla Allen pushes the pace up the floor, gets up the court fast, only with 20 seconds left. Maya Hurt loses the dribble, hands it back out to Maya Bird. Bird didn't seem to connect, but she gets the ball back, 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Hurts. Gives a screen to Burr. Burr gets inside, goes with the left hand most, mm. and, we, and she was fouled. It was a late call. She went on the left side of the rim, fell to the ground. Two shots coming up for Bird. I would love to see Savannah State try to play uh, Taylor Christmas out the game by giving, because Taylor Christmas is guarding uh, Monty Hamilton, so I'd like to see them try to get her the ball and see what she could do against Taylor Christmas. Bird connects on the first free throw. A very good free throw shooter on the year. Second free throw attempt coming up. Savannah State with the 13-point lead. Bird connects on both free throws. 51-37. Savannah State now with the 14-point lead. Savannah State pressing in the backcourt. Nyla Allen harassing Elasia Nash. Aaliyah Lawrence now with the ball. She's looking. Guarded by Maya Bird. Passes back out to Madison Golden. Golden receives a screen from Taylor Christmas. Spin move by Golden. Kicks it back out. Christmas for three. No good off the back rim. It was rebounded by Maya Bird. Bird outlet pass to Imani Hamilton. Hamilton with the easy deuce. 53-37 Savannah State lead. And they got quite a few of those over the course of this game too. Uh, if you anybody playing Savannah State, you definitely got to keep an eye out for those that like to leak out after a shot. They're trying to get it inside of Taylor Christmas. She seems frustrated. She's being guarded by Imani Hamilton. Madison Golden being guarded by Maria Hurd. They were chipping in the first half. Three coming up for Madison Golden. No good off the front of the rim. Madison gets on rebound. What a pass to Taylor Christmas. 
prior to that, I was just about to say that Savannah State is forcing Benedict to shoot jump shots. Before That's one reason why Savannah State pulled away is because when Benedict got out of getting the ball to the basket and making layups and getting free throws and fouls, Savannah State started making them shoot jump shots, and they haven't been able to knock any of those down. Burr passes it out to Jones. Jones pumping, goes baseline, passes it to Imani Hamilton, the 17-footer, rims out, rebound Leah Lawrence. Golden calling out the shots like she wanted to hit Kaya Evans on the outlet path, but Deshaya Jones cut it off. Golden looking. Receives a screen from Taylor Christmas. She's double team. Splits the double team. Goes up strong and was fouled. Two shots coming up for Golden. And that's what you want to see right there if you're the head coach, James Rice. You want to see the aggressiveness from Madison Golden. She results in two free throws. Split the double team. Definitely a great hop step. Definitely was able to get through with a high pickup hop step. One, you know, not really one, two, because she did hop step, but <laughs> hop step into her defender and going up strong. Two free throw attempts coming up for Madison Golden. Has 11 points in this game. That free throw is good. She now has 12 points in this game. Savannah State now with the 13 point lead, 53 to 40. The high pick is definitely a great way to split defenders, especially when defenders are reaching low for the ball. Golden goes two for two from the free throw line. Halia Carlock will now sub in for Imani Hamilton for Savannah State. Benedict back in that full court press, something that Savannah State has had problems with in the past. Allen calling out the shots for Savannah State. Allen looking, they're pressuring off, they're pressuring Savannah State guard. Golden, get inside Carlock, takes Taylor Christmas to the basket, Christmas with the rejection. Savannah State's ball with 13 seconds left on the shot clock. That's not a bad take, but that was definitely good defense by Taylor Christmas on her end. It's like moving her feet and putting her hand straight up and blocking the shot by Aaliyah Carlock. The six-foot junior, Taylor Christmas. Burr looking to inbound and pass it to Carlock. Carlock with the jump shot. No good. Rebound, Madison Golden. Golden skips it out to Aaliyah Lawrence. Lawrence trying to get it inside to Taylor Christmas. Great backside help. They triple team mm -hmm. down below. Christmas throwing that, throwing her elbows. We'll have a jump ball. And it will remain Benedict's ball. And that was great, not letting her uh, go to work against Aaliyah Carlock, immediate triple team, forcing her to try to make a play out of that. Taylor Christmas now with the ball. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. They get it down below. Lawrence running out of dribbles, goes up strong, and that foul was on by Maya Bird. Two shots coming up for Aaliyah Lawrence, and she had deep position on Bird. Shooting two, Aaliyah Lawrence. That would be Maya Burr's second foul. Lawrence, no good on the first free throw. Second free throw attempt coming up to give her her first basket in this game. And she connects. That's how, that would be her first points in this game. Savannah State has a substitution. Amaya Hur will now sit down. Josiah Holmes will check in for her. Benedict has seen to cut this deficit down to only 11 points in the third quarter. Allen sprints the ball off the court, being guarded by Nash. Savannah State getting their offense set up, gets it out to Jones. Jones looking mid-range, runs out of dribble, bounce passes it down to Carlock. She's no good. Rebound home. She was rejected by Taylor Christmas. Christmas pushing the pace. Passes it out to Kaya Evans. Evans goes a strong, and she connects on the juice and transition. Ooh, great block by Taylor Christmas, pushing up the floor, looking up ahead, passing it to her teammate for the easy layup. With just a nine-point lead, Savannah State. Benedict walking the lead down slowly but surely. Bird calling out signal. Bird looking, takes it in strong. She loses it. Aaliyah Lawrence now with the ball. Trying to force, trying to force her way through instead of crossing back over to our right hand, which is her weak hand. They were definitely playing her left hand strong, and she did not want to cross back over to her right. Golden, what a pass, Aaliyah Lawrence. Great pass, great pass. 
Seven point lead, Benedict come out. All breaks, I'm, correction, all gas, no breaks. Only a seven point lead, Savannah State holds. Allen has ran out of dribbles, passes it to, to Jones. Jones looking, bounce passes it to Holmes. They swing it around the room. We have a foul away from the ball. Aaliyah Carlock, illegal screen. Oh. Amari Hurd will check into the scores table. Aaliyah Carlock will sit down. We have a media timeout. Amari Hurd will check in for Aaliyah Carlock as both teams come out of timeout. Benedict College Tigers have walked this lead down to just seven points, 46-53 in this third quarter. I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside, alongside me, Jamal Rowling. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. We'll be right back as both teams come out of time. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the Black College Sports Network, where the Savannah State Tigers lead has just been cut down to seven points, 46-53 Savannah State lead, and Benedict now will now have the ball with four minutes and 47 seconds left in his third quarter. Yeah, this game should not be as close as it is or could possibly be for Savannah State. They definitely had a double-digit lead. Elijah Nash takes the screen to Taylor Christmas. Nash goes up strong with the right hand. She was rejected by Josiah Holmes and will have a foul. Oh. Coach Baker does not agree with the call. I mean, Two shots coming up for Nash. I mean, hey, Josiah Holmes did foul her a little bit. She did catch some arm. She did catch some arm, definitely, but it was a late call, too, at the same time. Two shots coming up for Nash. Nash, first free throw, rims in. Savannah State now with only a six-point lead. Yeah. And Savannah State also, too, has to do better in defending without fouling because at the end of the first half, Benedict had 18 free throw attempts. Jones now with the ball, receives a screen from Josiah Holmes. She's hedged by Taylor Christmas. Almost a steal by Kai Evans. Three coming up for Maya Bird, no good. Rebound, Taylor Christmas off the front of the rim. She definitely wanted that rebound stat right there. <laughs> <laughs> Evans looking, bounce pass to Madison Golden. Golden being guarded by Amari Hurd. They run the two-man game between Golden and Christmas. They get it inside the Christmas, who has deep position on Bird. No good, rims out. And it was tipped out of bounds by Aaliyah Lawrence. Savannah State will regain ball, will get the possession. Her looking. Benedict in that press defense. Lob pass to Maya Burt. They just get it up court. Burt pushing the pace. We'll take it up all by herself. Then it was a turnover. She tried to get it inside to Josiah Holmes. Luckily, the Benedict player couldn't regain the ball, and it would be Savannah State's ball. Definitely had a layup on the right side of the basket as she went under. Could have definitely went up for a reverse layup. And it's something that Savannah State has to work on, the press defense, something that gave them trouble two weeks ago against Edward Waters University, which resulted in a major comeback win for Edward Waters. Allen looking, get it inside to home. To Bird, Jones now with the ball. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Jones, bounce passes to Allen. Allen open for three. Rims out, rebound Josiah Holmes. She goes up strong, and we'll have a foul good on move. Madison Golden. Oh, wow. <laughs> Kind of lost her balance a little bit, almost stepped on, who is that, Madison right there? Yep, almost stepped on Madison. But definitely great offensive rebound, power dribbling to her defender, went up strong. 
Sometimes when you're underneath the basket, just go up. You might just get the foul call. Jump, find a person's chest and jump into their chest. And you just may get a foul call. As we have head coach Cedric Baker, even Maya Burr, uh, earful. Two shots coming up for Holmes. That first free throw was good. That's been Savannah State's first basket in over two minutes. Second basket coming up for Holmes. Second free throw attempt coming up for Bird. And Bird goes inside the box, tells Nyla Allen to go out. Second attempt coming up for Holmes. Holmes, the free throw is no good. One of two from the free throw line, she goes. Aaliyah Lawrence with the rebound. She's being guarded by Maya Bird. Look, Torrance taking it all by herself, and she was fouled. Coach Cedric Baker is in disbelief. We'll have two shots coming up for Aaliyah Lawrence. Yeah, she definitely went coast to coast easily, made no moves, no change of directions. But my thing is, though, with Savannah State, with the, mind, with the aggressive mindset that Benedict has right now, I'm surprised that no one has attempted to take a charge throughout this entire game. Amari, that was foul was on Amari Hurd, her third personal foul. You, if you have a team that's tr fixated on getting to the basket, and if you, you know, go for a few charges, it's going to be in the back of their mind and make them think twice about driving. Talia Hamilton will check in for Savannah State. Sitting down will be Amari Hurst, who has three personal fouls. Shakira Duncan will check in for Benedict. Sitting down will be Madison Golden. Benedict back in that press defense, something that Savannah State has had troubles with in the past. Allen being trapped. It was a fake trap. A little blitz action. And they're forcing everything to the right for Bird. Bird kicks it out to Allen. Allen with a pump fake, goes baseline, puts up a shot, and it's good. Great what a shot. Great shot by Nyla. <laughs> Evans hands it off to Duncan. Duncan looking, being guarded by Hamilton. Leah Lawrence, trying, they're trying to get it inside to Taylor Christmas. They do, who's being guarded by Josiah Holmes. What a move by Taylor Christmas. He was no good. Rebound, Shakira Duncan. Holmes could have defended that better because Taylor Christmas definitely threw a bow at Holmes. If Holmes let kind of sold that bow, she would have got an offensive foul and been going there Savannah State's way. And we'll have a foul on Benedict. I believe that foul was on Shakira Duncan with the over the back foul. Savannah State will regain possession. Looking to extend their deficit. Allen looking, hands it off to Jones. Two minutes and 28 seconds left in this third quarter. They're forcing everything to the right for mm. Burr, who's having trouble. What a blitz by Taylor Christmas. And she turns it over. And you oh. see Maya Bird did not want to go to her right, right side. And we have a foul on Shakira Duncan. Free throws come. I'm correction. That is the definition of make her go right, make her go make right. Make her go right. <laughs> They're shading everything to the right. right. And when the screen comes, they blitz the screen. I'm talking like literally standing on her left side. I'm not talking about just shading someone to their right. I'm talking about like literally standing on her left side. Like you have no choice but to go right. Dallas has it to Allen. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. They swing it around. Holmes now in the perimeter. Deshaya Jones now with the ball. who's being guarded by Leah Lawrence. Jones bounce passes it to Allen. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Allen with some serious crossover moves. Passes it back out to Jones. Jones for three. Rims out, rebound Shakira Duncan. So they're trying to get lined up on the defensive end. Kaya Evans for three from the top of the perimeter. No good. Rebound Taylor Ooh. Christmas. Christmas passes it out to Lawrence. Lawrence gets it inside, passes it back out. Three coming up for Benedict. No good. Rebound to Leah Hamilton. Hey, if I'm Taylor Christmas and I want to get the ball because defenders are fronting me, when I, what I would do when the second shot goes up and I don't get a rebound, I'm sprinting, finding probably the smaller, the smallest defender possible and sealing underneath the basket as fast as I can. Like rim running, right? Get underneath the basket as soon as you can before they can set up in the defense and seal quickly as possible and call for the and not just call for it, demand for the ball and try to get it from your guard. Checking in for Savannah State. Imani Hamilton will check in for Savannah State. 
Dr. Shia Holmes will take a seat. Amari Hurd looking to check in at the scores table as well for Savannah State. Free throw attempts coming up for Hamilton, Talia Hamilton. This free throw is no good. Savannah State normally a great free throw shooting team. Second attempt coming up for Hamilton. Amari Hurd at the scores table for Savannah State. Hamilton goes one or two from the free throw line. Amari Hurd will sub in for Maya Bird. 49-57, a minute and 44 seconds left in this third quarter. Savannah State with only an eight-point lead. Lawrence loves it up to Golden. Golden being guarded by Amari Hurd. Golden to get it inside the Taylor Crew, who had deep position on Imani Ooh. Hamilton. That's something that you can't do. You got to communicate. You can't mm -hmm. let Christmas get that deep of position in the paint. Yeah. That was great by her walking her defender down, turning around, and sealing strong. Euro step by Talia Hamilton. Hurt now with the ball. She lies it up to Nyla Allen. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Oh, wow. It's a 51 57 game. They're only down six points. Allen calling out the signals. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Allen penetrates the defense. Had to head it off to Imani Hamilton. She did, but Hamilton receives the ball. Goes up strong with the right, and it's good. 59 51. Savannah State with only an eight point lead. Amari hurt, harassing Madison Golden in the backcourt. Golden having no airspace to breathe. Coach James Rice is at calling for a foul. They don't call it. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Golden gets it inside the criminal in the free throw line area. It was tipped from the backside from Amari Hurt. Imani Hamilton with the ball. She lines it up to Amari Hurt. Hurt slows down the tempo, case it out to Allen. And Savannah State will set up the offense. Head coach Cedric Baker telling Allen to back it up, back it out, back it out. Allen looking, 24 seconds left. Hands it off to Hurd. Hurd loses the dribble, pass it out to Hamilton. Hamilton's the 17 footer, no good. It was rebounded by Elijah Nash. She goes up, pass it out to Kaya Evans in the transition. That basket is good. Nine seconds left. Hamilton hands it off to Allen. Seven seconds, six seconds. Allen pushes the pace. No shot clock. Three seconds left. Allen looking. Two seconds. Allen gets it inside. She was rejected mm. by Taylor Christmas. And that will be the end to this third quarter with Benedict making a surprising run coming out of the third quarter. Only down by six points. Both teams will go. Both teams will go on a break at the start of this fourth quarter. Savannah State with a six-point lead, 59-53. I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside by me is Jamal Rowland. We will be right back as you guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. Come on, him. Ooh. I like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? Oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never not working. Never not working. Never, ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Dandruff protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thins reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry. Welcome back everyone to the first night of this doubleheader with the Savannah State Tigers lead 59-53 at the start of this fourth quarter. Savannah State with the ball right here. This is the first night of this doubleheader at the Savannah State men's and the Benedict men's Tigers will face off right after this game at 7.30. Benedict 7-0 at home against the 8-9 Savannah State Tigers. Nyla Allen right now being guarded by Elasia Nash. They're trying to get Maya Bird an open shot. They got to run around some screens. They're forcing her everything. Right, what a spin move by Bird. Mirroring jump shot, no good. Rebound, Taylor Christmas. Golding looking, outlet pass. It was stolen by Nyla Allen. Elasia Nash was Ooh, not looking. What a nice crossover cross. move by Allen. Allen looking. 
What a hesitation move. She went up with her left. It was no good. It was tipped out. Might hurt like she wanted to save it, and it will remain Savannah State's ball. You know, I'd like to see Nyla Allen probe a little bit more when she gets deep like that. You know, when she gets deep, she oftentimes go up for a shot instead of just hesitating and probing for a split second and kind of coming back around. Allen hands it out to Bird. They're forcing everything right for Bird. To Leah Hamilton now will receive a screen from Amaya Hurt. Hamilton lobs it up to Bird. Bird looking. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Amari Hurt calling out the shot. She wants a screen from Josiah Holmes. She doesn't take it. Goes to the baseline. Mid-raise jump shot. No good off balance. Rebound to Leah Hamilton. And we'll have a whole new shot clock off of the missed shot from Amari Hurt. Head coach James Rice wanted that rebound for Benedict. They did not get it. Savannah State with the whole new shot clock. Ten seconds left. Allen looking. What a hesitation move. Floater. Rims out. It was rebound by Taylor Christmas. She bounced past it to Madison Golden. Golden looking. Outlet pass to Leah Nash. Aaliyah goes baseline. Leia rims out, but a rebound by Leah Lawrence. She goes up strong, reaching. and it was no good. Two shots coming up for Lawrence. Reaching for what? There's no reason to reach. You're, you're in the fourth quarter. You're up six points. It's a close game. You don't want to give the team, you know, any confidence getting to the line, easy shots. So why reach in? Just go up for a nice hard contest because they're probably going to go up anyway, as she did. And, yeah, there's no, there was no reason to reach there. First free throw attempt coming up for Lawrence. She connects. Benedict's closed this deficit to only five points. 59-54, Savannah State leads. Second attempt coming up for Lawrence. She goes two for two from the free throw line. Kaya Evans will now sub in for Benedict. Correction. Himaya Ashby will check in for Kaya Evans. Benedict still in that full court press, something that was very successful for them in the third quarter. Savannah State holding a four-point lead at the start of this fourth quarter. Allen looking. She doesn't take the screen. Allen floater from the baseline off the glass. Good. Great move. She hit her with the double cross, faking towards the screen, rejecting it, driving baseline, and easy floater off the backboard. Malaysia Nash splits the double team. Left and is good. She split the double team. No one picked up the... Who's going to stop the ball? Yeah, no one picked up the ball handler. She had an easy two points. Allen looking. Four-point lead. Savannah State holds. Allen doesn't take the screen again with the backside. What a pass to Amaria Hurst. It was because of the backside by hell. It was no community. It was a miscommunication from Benedict. Yeah. Madison Golden screaming at Amaya Ashby. Oh, we have a turnover to Leah Hamilton with the ball. She go up strong. She was fouled by Madison uh, Golden. Yep, yep. And we'll have a foul away from the ball. Amari mm -hmm. Hurd. Mm -hmm. Technically can't do that. She said a screen for Hamilton as she was coming for the layup. Really what you do there is you more to kind of run into the person, make it seem like it's incidental contact versus just set out flatting a screen as an offensive foul because you're impeding the defender's progress and going to contest. So, yeah, you can't do that. I actually got called for that, too, when I was younger. <laughs> That's Savannah State double. With a running a press defense of, a, of their own in the backcourt. It was tipped away from Amaria Hurd, but it will remain Benedict's ball. Leah Lawrence being guarded by Maya Bird. Lawrence. With a fake blitz from Amaria Hurd. Lawrence takes the screen from Taylor Cripps. She goes up strong with a tough shot. Tries to follow up her own shot. Rebound Kaya Evans, but she loses it. But she, she sits on the ball, passes it. They swing it around the perimeter. Three coming up from Malaysia Nash. Mm. Air ball. Lawrence tries to save it. She does not right into the hands of Nyla Allen. Allen splits the double team with the full head of steam. Allen looking. Spin move. Runs out of dribbles. Looking. Looking. She's Too tied deep. up by Madison Golden. No one came to the ball, and it would go to Benedict. Not only did she get too deep, but she picked up her dribble too deep as well. When you pick up your dribble that close to the basket, kind of end up with nowhere to go. You're in the teeth of the defense, hands everywhere, contesting all the passing lanes. If you're going to go drive that deep, you got to, and you have nothing, you have to retreat back out and run the offense. Kaya Evans went out supping for Elasia Nash. Luckily, Amaya Ashley was looking for her. She wasn't looking for the ball. She runs out of dribble, hands it to Madison Golden. Her giving Golden no airspace to breathe. She doesn't take the screen for Christmas. Golden loses her dribble right into the hands of Maya Bird. Bird, outlet pass to her. Her with the easy deuce in transition. The Benedict crowd wants a foul. 
Referee doesn't call it. She said that she flopped. They don't give her the call. Yeah, I do think she flopped a little bit too mm -hmm. myself. But at the same time, though, she did throw a ball towards Madison. And we Golden. have a steal right here from Amari Hurt. She'll push the pace, but then she got to slow it down. She picks up her dribble. Hands it back off to Nyla Allen. Two turnovers for Benedict back-to-back. -back. They lead to Shia Jones open, but luckily Kaya Evans steps up. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Bird receives a screen from her. Pass it back out to Allen. Allen tries to split a double team. She loses it. Gets her ball back. Pass it back out to Amari Hurd. And we have a timeout right here for Savannah State. Both teams have given it their all in this fourth quarter. Savannah State only with the eight-point lead. Benedicts came out with all gas, no break. Jamal, what have you seen mm -hmm. from this Benedict team so far? Yeah, what I've seen for Bending so far is that they actually haven't done too bad with turnovers. I'm actually kind of impressed because they are a very turnover-prone turnover, turnover prone team, averaging 29 turnovers a game. However, though, they've done a pretty good job taking care of the ball, and they're hanging around, too. That's one dangerous thing to do. Even if you're better than a team, you don't want them to hang around. You don't want to give them confidence. And that's what Benedict has right now. They feel like they can play with Savannah State. So with them just hanging around, anything could go. It's nothing to have a six-point run, and now you're in the lead. Even though they're down seven points, I believe. But if they're going to six-hole run, they're only down one point. A six-hole run is nothing. That's just, what, three turnovers and three easy layups off of those turnovers. So... What they need to continue doing is getting to the basket, drawing those fouls, they're doing a great job getting to the free throw line and making those free throws too. Savannah State, however, what I want to see better from them, from their guards, is not getting so deep and having nowhere to go. I want to see them drive with a plan. Drive, retreat out, or drive and probe, probe around, probe, and then kick it back out or something. With both teams coming out of time, Mount Savannah State with the ball with only six seconds left on the shot clock, holding an eight-point lead. To Leah Hamilton at the scores table. Burr looking, 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 lobs it up to Allen. Only five seconds left on the shot clock. Allen's going to have to put up a shot. She loses a dribble. Burr gets it back. One second left on the shot clock, and we have a turnover. And shot clock violation. And defensively, I'm sorry to cut you off, but just I'm really impressed defensively with what Benedict has done. They have kind of taken Maya Bird out the game, forcing her to drive to her right, and she's not taking that. They're glued to her. They're not just letting her run around screens and get open shots. And I don't think she's made a three really since the first half. I have a deep position again from Taylor Christmas, which results in an easy deuce for her. You cannot let Christmas get that deep a position. That's easier said than done. 59-65, mm -hmm. Savannah State only with the lead. They're forcing Bird right again. She's mm -hmm. still trying to go left. She still gets there. Let's see what Takes she creates. Tough shot. Madison Golden with the ball. She'll dribble it out and slow it pace down. Maya Bird tried to come from behind her with the steal. They kick it out. Kaya Evans for three from the right elbow. She mm -hmm. connects. Benedict has walks his lead down to only three points. 62-65. Hanging around. That's what hanging around does. This is what you do when you let a team hang around. Sooner or later, they will come back. As the Benedict crowd getting back into it. Hamilton receives the screen from home. Ooh, nice split. She was stolen, but she gets the ball back, kicks it out to Allen. Allen penetrates the defense, puts up a shot. She was rejected by Maya Ashby. Golden looking. She almost loses her dribble, picks up her dribble, passes it out top. To Aaliyah Lawrence, she'll penetrate the D, kiss it out. Taylor Christmas for three from the right elbow. She connects. And we have a tie ball game here. Christmas Taylor has showed up and decided to show out wow, in the first half. Only played four minutes, put it back in the game, and now she's one of the leading scorers in the half. Benedict's crowd now picking it, a dumping inside to her, who's being guarded by Golden. Her loses a dribble but regains it. Her. Goes up with the right hand. No good off the backboard. Rebound. Their bodies collide on the floor. Quote the referee's call. We have a jump ball. Benedict has done a great job guarding Savannah State straight up. Savannah State needs to do better in getting into their sets and run an actual set. I haven't seen them run a set in the past few possessions. And I see Coach Baker. He's upset. Benedict has now tied this game up at 65 after being down more than 10 points in the first half. They came out in the second half 
All gas, no brakes. Fire coming out, and they've now tied this game up. 65-65, Jamal, if you're, if you are, if you are head coach Cedric Baker, what is something that you are telling your girls in this huddle? Oh my gosh, the band is so loud, I can't even hear you. I say, what is something, that, if, you're, if you're head coach Cedric Baker, what are you telling your girls in the huddle for Savannah State? Yeah, so if I'm the head coach Cedric Baker, what I'm telling my, uh, my team right now is that, hey, we got to get into our sets. There's no reason that Benedict got us out of our sets. Because, hey, what, that's the question. What are we running? What are we running? Because we haven't been running anything in the past few possessions. And defensively, we can either amp the pressure up defensively and force some turnovers. Let's see if we can be that fast-paced team that we have been all season, really over the past few years. Because we haven't seen that this game. We play a we play Benedict's game right now, and we're playing at their pace. We can be that fast-paced team we've been all season. We need to amp up the pressure defensively, see if we can force some turnovers, and we need to run our sets. Savannah State being out-rebounded the second chance points with Benedict having 15 second chance points. Savannah State only with four. They walk this lead down to a tie ball game. It's something that Savannah State has had trouble with as two weeks ago against Emma Waters. They let a Tiger team come back after having them down by more than 30 plus points. Let's see what Savannah State does. Coming out of the timeout with only four seconds left on the shot clock. Bird the inbounder, but now she'll switch out with Jashaya Jones. The five of Savannah State will be Nyla Allen, Maya Bird, Amaria Hurd, Jashaya Holmes, and Jashaya Jones. Well, hey, you know what they say about basketball. It is a game of runs. So that's Three coming up for Bird. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound. Leah Lawrence was being harassed by Amari Hurd. She elbowed her Hurd in the face. They don't call anything. They let him play. You didn't realize, but that was the end of the shot clock right there. There was three on the shot clock when Bird had shot that. They're trying to get it inside the Taylor Christmas. Good help side defense from Bird. Christmas throws up a shot. She tried to get it down low to Kaya Evans. But it'll be a turnover. Savannah State with the ball. The Benedict crowd has been quiet for the majority of this game, but now mm -hmm. they have something to cheer about with them with a tie game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three minutes and 38 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Allen walking the ball up the court. Elijah Nash for Benedict at the scores table. Allen receives the screen from home. Passes it out to her. They swing it around the perimeter. There we go. See, they're running their sets now. Jones, open, kicks it out to Allen. Allen for three. She was rejected by Amari Ashby. But it was, Holmes dies on it. But the sequence of events that just happened right there, it was a rejection from Amaya Ashby. And we will have a foul on Benedict after no, the rejection from Amaya Ashby. Players collided on the floor. We have a timeout right here for Savannah State with five seconds left on the shot clock. Savannah State had to leave for majority of the game. Now the game has now just been walked down to just a tie ball game. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. We'll be right back as both teams come out of timeout. And locks odors in. Rethink your path for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do, Brian, AD. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to the first night of this doubleheader. You guys are watching the Black Hollow Sports Network, Savannah State. The game is now tied. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Burp glides it up to Jones. Jones penetrates the defense, throws up a shot. It was fouled. Ooh, hopefully she's Ooh. okay. She's grabbing her head. Hopefully she's okay. I think she hit her head on the ground. Savannah State rallies around Jones. Hopefully she's okay. Head coach Cedric Baker walks on into the floor. Jones is still on the ground holding her head. We got the medical team from Benedict as they start to approach the floor. Jones gets off on her own power. Hopefully she's okay. Hope she's all right as well. Jones looks to be okay. She'll have two shots coming up. But way for her to draw a foul and slow the momentum down of Benedict. Now she's got two shots coming up. Oh, it looks like they're going to sub her out of the game. I don't think they're going to take any chances in case 
she may possibly be concussed. They probably wanted to check her out for a little bit. Head injuries are something serious too. Yeah, they're definitely going to check her out and make sure she's not concussed or anything. Talia Hamilton will replace Deshaya Jones. Hamilton will shoot the free throw and replace the Jones. Oh, that's not good too, because normally if you can't shoot the free throws, then you can't come back into the game. Hamilton. So that's not a good sign then. I don't know if she's dizzy or having blurred vision, but that's not good. Hamilton connects on the first free throw. Savannah State with just a one point lead. Hamilton shooting the free throw in replace of Deshaya Jones. Hamilton goes two for two in replace of Deshaya Jones from the free throw line. Savannah State with a two point lead. Aaliyah Lawrence now with the ball in the backcourt. Hey, real, real quick, I just hope that she feels better because if she wasn't able to shoot, if she didn't shoot the free throws, I mean she wasn't able to shoot the free throws. And Maya Ashby will be harassed. Great she bounced defense. past it to Madison Golden. Golden Man, has it back out to Ashby. About. Three for Ashby. She's no good. It was tipped. And that's Rebound Taylor Christmas again. Second chance point. That's kill Savannah State. Aaliyah Lawrence down low. She'll throw up a hook shot. No good. Rebound to Shia Holmes. And that's the pressure that I was talking about uh, by Savannah State. Trapping, getting in the passing lanes, and just being aggressive defensively. Kind of rushing Benedict the way ben Benedict is rushing them. Allen will get inside. Floater attempt and connects. Mm, great, great floater. Great floater. As the, tank, as the game, as this game gets wider, Kaya Evans passes it to Amaya Ashby. Savannah State comes out of the timeout on a 2-0 run. Christmas kicks it to the corner. Three coming up for Leah Lawrence. She is good again from the left-handed corner. Timeout head coach James Rice of Benedict after the three-point attempt from Aaliyah Lawrence to make the lead 68-69. Benedict only down by one point with two minutes and 10 seconds left. Both teams going to timeout and so will we. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. We will be right back as both teams come out of the timeout. Boy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. is a premium health and wellness tea line focused on bringing delicious yet healthy tea blends to the community. Filled with an abundance of vitamins and antioxidants, we work to blend teas with exotic spices and fruits to produce scrumptious and wholesome beverages. So check us out at MyMajestees.com. That's M-Y-M-A-J-E-S-T-E-A-S.com. My Majesties, an Urban Passport member. Let's face it, shopping for insurance can be... Welcome everyone back to the Black Hole Sports Network. Welcome back to crunch time. Savannah State holding a one-point lead after the three-point attempt from Aaliyah Lawrence. She connected from the left-hand corner to make it a one-point lead. Savannah State. They're trapping in the backcourt. Allen pushes the pace, beats the double team. Goes to the corner, passes it to Talia Hamilton. She's trapped. Bounce pass it to Allen. Allen beats the press by herself. Talia Hamilton. Pump safe on the 17 footer. She almost turns it over. And she does turn it over. Benedict's ball. Yeah, Holmes wasn't ready for that pass. It was definitely a great look by Hamilton. But Holmes was not ready for that pass, though. Madison Golden will now sub in for Benedict. A minute and 55 seconds left. Savannah still holding a one point lead. Benedict looking to get back on the winning streak. Golden looking, pass it out to Elasia Nash. She dribbles it out, holds it, waits for Golden to get up to the court, pass half court. Nash looking, being guarded by Allen. Receives a screen from Taylor Christmas. Kaya Evans in the corner, being harassed. They get it down to Leah Lore. She loses her footing, and they call a foul. Ketico Cedric Baker does not agree with the call, neither do I. <laughs> Lawrence just fell down in the paint. I'm sorry, it's just his reaction kind of made me laugh a little bit. Benedict's ball with the new shot clock. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Looking to get their first lead that they've had since the first half. Kaya Evans for three from the right corner. No good. Rebound Nyla Allen. 
Allen pushes the pace, does not have the number. She will dribble it out. Pass it out to Bird. Bird will hand it back off to Allen. They set the offense up. 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Allen looking. Receives the screen from Josiah Home. Allen passes it out to Bird. They're going to force her to go right. She still decides to go left, and that's how you do it. Like you said yep. before, they want to make her go right. But since you, since you want to force her left, the body contact from Kaya yep. Evans. Definitely a, a blocking foul because I can't quite see her jersey numbers folded up. <laughs> Kaya Evans. Kaya Evans, yeah. but she um, impeding her progress. It's a blocking foul, so that's why she got that call. Plus the swipe through, too. So it kind of was a little bit of a reach, too. But mostly the blocking foul. Allen Rodgers. received the straight from Amaya Hurt. She hesitates. Floater for Allen. No good. Hamilton saves it right into the hands of Desaia Holmes. She lob it out to Burr. It's a turnover. Long pass to Jalen Lajanette. She can win a rejection. Oh, it connects. <laughs> Benedict with their first lead. Since the first half, 70 to 69 after the outlet pass from Kaya Evans to Elaser Nash. I thought it was a rejection from Maya Bird, but it wasn't. It would be a foul on Bird. Three point play coming up for Nash. Jashai Jones was checking at the score table for Savannah State. Nash looking to connect on this three point opportunity. This free throw is good. Jashai Jones will now sub in for Talia Hamilton. I guess that's an NBA rule then, not being able to come into the game after not being able to sh shoot the free throws. Benedict has now walked this lead down. They've taken the lead, their first lead since the first half. Jamal Rowland, what do you have to say about the confidence and the swagger and the heart that Benedict has shown yeah, so Benedict far? Benedict has played hard this game. They have played very hard, led by Alasia Nash with 17 points. Madison Golden with 13, Aaliyah T Lawrence with 10, Taylor Christmas with 10. That's four people, four players in double digits by Benedict. And they have shut down the three-point line. Savannah State made five threes in the first half. And guess how many threes they made in the second half, Travis? Tell me. Five. <laughs> <laughs> they have made five threes. I mean, they still have five threes made total over the course of this game. They have not let Savannah State really take many more, let alone make any more threes uh, in the second half of the game. That's probably one of the difference makers. Benedict looking to get back on the winning side on a four game losing streak. They take their first lead since the first half. Savannah State coming out of the timeout will receive possession with 54 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Benedict crowd has gotten back into it. And look, also two, second, second chance points, Chris, Taylor Christmas. Leading the way with second chance points. Benedict has what? 15 second chance points to Savannah State six. With two, and then not to mention the free throws. Benedict has 28 free throw attempts. Savannah State has done a poor job defending without fouling. Allen splits the double team, passes it out to Bird. This press defense from Benedict has really given Savannah State problems. Lies it out to Bird. Burr open. She doesn't take the three. They'll set up the offense. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. 40 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Allen looking. Almost was a steal by Kaya Evans. Burr goes baseline. And we'll have a timeout by head coach James Rice who didn't see, huh? who didn't like what he saw. Wait, question mark? He couldn't have called a timeout. He, he couldn't have. <laughs> What happened? He called timeout. Oh, is there a technical foul? It's a technical foul. Okay, I was about to say, this, he couldn't have called yeah, timeout. On, on defense, <laughs> been yeah. on defense. They on defense. When I tell you I was so confused. Yeah, I was confused. When I said it out loud, I was like, how did defense get called timeout? Oh, man. <laughs> I was so Technical confused. free throws calling up for like, Allen. I was just saying, like, what's going on? Allen makes the first free throw. Second free throw coming up to tie this ball game. She's shooting the technical free throws. Allen rattles in the second one. Savannah State has now tied the ball up and will regain possession. 71-71. The game is tied. 35 seconds left in this in this fourth quarter. Okay. So he was Coach Rice was outside of his box on that possession outside the coach's box, so that's why they call that technical foul there. But that's, you can't have that if you're the head coach. You can't give up two free throws. Now the game is now tied. You had the lead. Yeah. That's something you can't give up. You can't get a, a technical foul from the head coach. 
but thanks to Sharika Brown, who's the lead official tonight, for that information. Welcome to crunch time, 26, 26, 25 seconds left, 24, 23, Allen looking. Game now tied. Allen looking, 14 seconds left on the shot clock. They run a two-man game between her and Hurd. Allen looking, pass it out to Jones. Jones penetrates the defense, mid-range jump shot. No good off the bat, but That's she was fouled. Foul. Okay. She was fouled. 12.4 seconds left. And that was very smart by Nyla too, because she had drove and she did not get too deep. She drove, retreated out a little bit, kicked it to Josiah, and Josiah drove through the gap that Nyla created. Free throw attempts coming up for Josiah Jones to give Savannah State the lead, whether it's a one point or a two point lead. 12.4 seconds left, Savannah State breaks from their huddle. Two free throw attempts coming up for Josiah Jones. Hey, as, as Travis said, it's 12.4 seconds left on the clock. Savannah State, when they come down, they want to be able to defend without fouling. Jones shooting her first free throws of this game. Connects on the first one, one of one. And if I'm Benedict, I definitely want to try to get the ball to Taylor Christmas. Let her see if she can probably draw a foul because they're definitely going to try to double, triple team her when they get it to her. Second attempt coming up for Jones. Savannah State holding a one-point lead. Jones goes two for two from the free throw line. Ice cold water in her veins. We have a timeout by head coach James Rice. 12.4 seconds left. Benedict looking to hold for the final shot. As I said before, they're on a four-game losing streak. They have a one and eight home record. They're looking to break this skid and get back on the winning side. If you're head coach Cedric Baker, what are you telling your, your girls in the huddle? And as far as for James Rice, what play do you call up? So for Cedric Baker, hey, just defend without fouling. Ball goes to Taylor Christmas. We are double and triple teaming. And then we just play basketball from there and just close out on any shooters. As, because, hey, a two will hurt you, but a three will kill you. So we have to run off all threes, run them off the line. We don't care about the layup. We care. We definitely want to come over and help. But a three will kill you. As far as Benedict, though, we definitely want to try to get the ball to Taylor Christmas, see if we get a two-man game going between uh, Taylor and Madison, no, no, Madison Golden, oh, Madison. Madison Golden, her, I would want her to bring the ball up and see if we get two men going there. Um, or try to do a high post action with Taylor Christmas. Because I don't want her too low under the basket because then she won't have the angle. Both teams come out of timeout. Kaye Evans with the ball, being guarded by Nyla. And the kick it to the corner. Elijah Nash, pump fake. Was rejected by Elijah Holmes. Rebound to Mari Hurd. She was fouled by Madison Golden. What a rejection by Josiah Holmes. Great block, great block. Free throws coming up for Amari Hurd. 4.2 seconds left in his fourth quarter. What a rejection by home. They definitely played the three because they, hey, like I said, the three would kill you. So you definitely want to play that three and prevent that three in any way possible. Hurd is shooting her free throws. First attempt coming up. No good. This second free throw will be very vital to Savannah State. Second attempt coming up for her. 4.2 seconds left. Savannah State holding a two-point lead in this fourth quarter. Second attempt. No good. Rebound Madison Golden. Timeout called by Golden. Her misses on both free throws, and she cannot live with herself right now. She walks over to the bench in disappointment in herself. Benedict holds the ball for a final shot again. Those free throws would have sealed it for Savannah State. Hurd goes 0 for 2. I'm not going to lie. The second free throw looked like she kind of missed it on purpose. That's what I was thinking to see. They could probably bat it around for five seconds and not have to worry about, you know, coming down on the next possession. Alasia Nash is the leading scorer for Benedict with 17 points. They're looking to get back on the winning side. They'll hold for the final shot. 3.1 seconds left in this fourth quarter. Now, Travis, just out of curiosity, let me ask you, do you go for the two or you go for the three? At this point, you have nothing to lose. <laughs> you're, you're three and 16 on this respect. I want to go for the win. I want to I want to get out of here with the win, the five on the floor. So you don't want to go in overtime? I don't. I want to go for the win, the five on the floor for Savannah State. Imani Hamilton, Imari Hurd, Maya Bird, Deshaya Jones, Deshaya Holm for Benedict, Madison Golden, Aaliyah Lawrence, Alasia Nash, Taylor Christmas and Kaya Evans. Evans, the inbounder, rejected by Josiah Holmes again. Takes it out to Josiah Jones, and Savannah State will take this game. Mm. What wow. a deflection by Josiah Holmes. Back-to-back -back plays 
made by home and Savannah State comes into HRC Arena and leaves on a very, very tight knit victory. Gosh, that was a very tight game. Wow, Jamal. Yeah, the defensive impact by Holmes, the length that she has and possesses, that was great. First you got the block on the corner three, then you got the deflection of the pass on the inbound, resulting in the turnover and the steal and running away with the win by the grace of God. Wow, that was a great game we had from the Benedict Lady Tigers and the Savannah State Lady Tigers. That was just the first of our doubleheader. Our second doubleheader will be coming up where you have the Savannah State Men's Tigers, eight and nine, taking on the 16 and two Benedict Men's Tigers. I will give you guys the breakdown of the stat sheet for Savannah State. The leading scorer for Savannah State was point guard Nyla Allen. The second leading scorer was Maya Bird. Coming behind Bird was Amari Hurd for Benedict. Alasia Nash was the leading scorer with 17 points. Madison Golden was the second leading scorer with 13. And Aaliyah Lawrence with 10 points. We want to thank you guys for watching this doubleheader. We will be right back at the start of this doubleheader at 7.30 where we have the 8-9 Savannah State Men's Tiger versus the 16-2 Benedict Tigers. Right here at HRC Arena coming up at 7.30. As I, as I said before, I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside my me is Jamal Rowland. We'll be right back at the start of this, at the start of the first quarter. That's why when it comes to your auto, home, and life insurance needs, make things simple and trust the experts at Allstate. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember. They can use less. Sweet pillows of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll everybody <laughs> we all go why not enjoy the go with Charmin? thank you guys for what you do for hbcu athletics this is a fantastic avenue for 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 all of us this is our espn so we we we, we love what you guys do brian ad roy all you guys at bcsn we really appreciate what it is that you got you guys do for us Co-host of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics, from the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories. We cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Networks app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you.
Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you, got, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slowburn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. You see, Head & Shoulders has scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working! I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU Athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Nope. Nope. Come on, him. Ooh, I 
like him. Quick, the quicker picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? <laughs> oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never not working. Never not working. Never ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Dandruff protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is always Ultra Thins reinvented with the always triple protection system. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. is a premium health and wellness tea line focused on bringing delicious yet healthy tea blends to the community. Filled with an abundance of vitamins and antioxidants, we work to blend teas with exotic spices and fruits to produce scrumptious and wholesome beverages. So check us out at MyMajestTeas.com. That's M-Y-M-A-J-E-S-T-E-A-S.com. My Majesties, an Urban Passport member. Let's face it, shopping for insurance can be time consuming. That's why when it comes to your auto, home, and life insurance needs, make things simple and trust the experts at Allstate. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember they can use less. Sweet pillows of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll it back, everybody. <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us.
A.B. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website www.slowburnwaco.com That's www.slowburnwaco.com you see, Head & Shoulders has scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working! I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU Athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network.
At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America. Have Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to the second night of this doubleheader where we have the Savannah State Men's Tigers going up against the Benedict Men Tigers. Benedict, 16 and 2 overall, 7 and 0 home record. Savannah State, 8 and 9, coming off of a tough loss against Allen University. We're going to give you guys this. Statistic for Savannah State. Savannah State eight and nine record, two and seven away games. Jamal Roland, would you like to break down anything for Savannah State? Yeah. So, well, really, I just want to do something for both teams real quick because that's what I have prepared, and I'm really interested in this matchup right here. Benedict, the number one scoring offense in the conference. Savannah State, the number one defense in the conference as well. We got a matchup of overpowering yes, offense we do. versus dominating defense. Yes. And we're going to see we who's going to win today. <laughs> That was very exciting and ecstatic for it because I love watching the best defense go up against the best offense. What the best they need to do is guard the three-point line because that is the bread and butter of Benedict. Shoot, take threes. We're going to make threes. We're going to outshoot you and outscore you. We're going to try and go for 80 points and see if you can match us. However, Savannah State is quite the opposite. They're not going to take as many threes, let alone make as many threes. However, what they will do is say, hey, we're going to score our 60, 62 points, but yes. we're going to hold you below that. Yes. See if you can score more than us. But that's because, the thing. But, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's ahead. the thing with the Benedict team. You're going to have to put up points against them because they're going to put. They're going to. They're going to shoot the lights out of the ball. They're the number one three-point field goal percentage team in the Syac mm -hmm. Conference. They're going to put up some shots. You're going to have to match their scoring. I understand you want to hold them defensively, but you're going to have to put up points. Savannah State has been able to hold teams to something. To, uh, Savannah State has been able to hold teams severely under, under what the, they normally average, score. Yes. Morehouse scores six seventy-six points a game. Yes, but scored fifty against Savannah State. Yes. And coming to tonight's match, you have a, a you have a great guard and power forward combo between Ashanti Price and Tim Moore. Something Savannah State will have to have the something that Savannah State will definitely have to control. Yeah, and also too, when you're playing against an overpowering offense, you cannot turn the ball over because you cannot get them chances to score. Savannah State don't need to give them any looks, no chances to score, what no easy chances to score whatsoever. That Benedict however, just need to come out and play well and try to get as many open opportunities as they can. See if they can force turnovers, get those easy opportunities, and beat that hard fought half court defense. Because Savannah State is going to slow the game down, but Benedict they like to get up and down quick, fast, and in a hurry. That's what they like to do. But they cannot play at Savannah State's pace, which is half court, a half court game, a half court offense and defense. We have only two minutes and 39 seconds left to the start of this first quarter. We will be right back when both teams come. At, at we, we, we will be, I'm just correction. We, we will be right back when both teams start the first quarter. This is the Black College Sports Network. I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside by me, Jamal Rowland. We'll be right back when both teams come out. The Cover's voice time and time again. Conversational. Powerhouse. Intelligent and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K E A V E R S V O I C E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? 
<laughs> oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Never not working. Never not working. Never ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Standard protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. is a premium health and wellness tea line focused on bringing delicious yet healthy tea blends to the community. Filled with an abundance of vitamins and antioxidants, we work to blend teas with exotic spices and fruits to produce scrumptious and wholesome beverages. So check us out at MyMajestees.com. That's M-Y-M-A-J-E-S-T-E-A-S.com. My Majesties, an Urban Passport member. Let's face it, shopping for insurance can be time consuming. That's why when it comes to your auto, home, and life insurance needs, make things simple and trust the experts at Allstate. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember. They can use less. Sweet pillars of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll everybody <laughs> we all go why not enjoy the go with Charmin thank you guys for what you do for HBCU athletics this is a fantastic avenue for 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 all of us this is our ESPN so we we we, we love what you guys do Brian AD Roy all you guys at BCSN we really appreciate what it is that you got you guys do for us Welcome everyone back to the second of this double header. We're just under tip off the 5 for Savannah State. We'll give you the 5 for the Benedict College Tiger. We have a late change in Savannah State starting lineup. Javante Landing will replace AJ Flame. The starting 5 for Savannah State will be Javante Landy, Austin Lewis, Zion Davis, Jordan Michael, and Quay King. For the Benedict College Tigers, you have Tim, Tim Moore, Brandon Smith, Ashanti.
Sorry, everyone, for the technical difficulties, but Benedict wins the tip off. Shanti Price takes the screen for Tim Moore. Tim Moore, brick wall, screen oh three, gosh. right oh. out of the gate Woo. for Tim Moore. They can't mean to drop coverage on those screens. You definitely have to come up and either hedge or trap those screens with Ashanti Price because he'll come off and knock it down. Ashanti Price, a top five scorer in the Sayak tournament. Javante Lenny takes the surprising start of an AJ playing. Jordan Michael takes a good, strong take. Rebound Malachi McCoy, the number nine rebound in the Sayak conference. Kicks it out to Calvin McCutcheon. They're trying to get it inside the Moore. Malachi McCoy at the top of the key. Javante Landon guarding Ashanti Price. Price, three point. It's a great test by Landy. Rebound see. Davis. Now I see why he put AJ, uh, why he had Javante Landon start because he wanted to put Javante Landon on Ashante Price, see what he could do. But Ashante Price is going to try to use his height and shoot over the top of Javante Landon, as, as you see, he did there in that possession. Three point attempt from Austin Lewis. He connects. Savannah State ties the game up three to three. If I did, as I did not mention before, this Benedict College team knocked Savannah State out of the SIAC tournament last year, which was in Savannah, Georgia. Savannah looking to get some get back against Benedict. Savannah State pressing in the backcourt. No one picks up Kevin McCutcheon. He goes up with the left hand and he connects five to three. Benedict with a two point advantage. Davis looking just brings the ball to the court. Crossover move. Landy now will receive the ball guarded by Brandon Smith. Coach calling out signals, 5-3. to three. Takes the screen from King. Landy goes baseline, rejected from Brandon Smith. Lobs it back out to Davis. Davis with a contested three. No good. Rebound Brandon Smith. Smith looking, being guarded by Landy. Kicked it to Calvin McCutcheon. He's looking, kicked it to McCoy, the top of the key, being guarded by Davis. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Smith takes yep, the screen from McCoy. Is. Nice hedge. They hedged that time over the screen. Smith, great defense by Landy. And with great a defense. travel by Brandon Smith. See, I see Coach Broadnax definitely want to establish the defensive intensity early in this game against Benedict. Frankie Dinar has now subbed in for Benedict. Calvin McCutcheon will take a break. Benedict pressing in the backcourt. Landy will bring the ball up the court. He has the numbers to break the press, but he'll walk it up the court, being guarded by Frankie Denault, who had an outstanding game against Edward Waters last week. Landy looking. Bounce pass it to Lewis. Lewis kicks it back out. It was stolen by Ashanti Price, but it was tipped away great by hands. Landy. And great it was, hands by Landy to stop was, the fast It was lane. great. Benedict's ball. And Landy did something I haven't seen a lot of. He snaked the screen off of the hedge. However, he didn't have to jump shot there, but he passed it up to Lewis. Denard looking, being guarded by Austin Lewis. Brandon Smith. Smith takes the screen from Moore. Smith lobs it up to Denard. Great defense by Lewis. Malachi McCoy with the screen for Denard. Frankie takes it. Austin Lewis being all over Denard. He kicks it to Tim Moore. Eight seconds left. Moore doesn't like what he sees. Gets it out to McCoy. McCoy passes it back. Stolen by Koi King. And he loses it. Jordan Mike, but he gets the ball back. King hands it back out to Landy. Savannah State has the numbers if they push it. But Moore just gets back with a screen. Davis, looks like he wanted to shoot the three, didn't like it. He bought it back out. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Landy looking, takes a screen from King. Landy goes baseline, spins out, kicks it to King. Jump shot from King, no good. Rebound, Jordan, Michael. Michael, pump fake, goes to strong with the right hand. Rims out, rebound, Jordan, Michael. And a foul on Frankie Denard. It will remain Savannah State's ball after the foul from Frankie Denard on Quay King. Travis, I just want you to know, you're doing a great job. <laughs> <laughs> Landy looking, bounce pass it to Lewis. Lewis for three from the same spot. No good this time. Rebound Price. Outlet pass to Denard. Denard wasn't expecting it, but he just looked up in the nick of time. Takes a screen from McCoy. Great hedge mm -hmm. by Michael. You're doing a great job. And I see the coaching staff, they're upset because Landy shaded off a little too much of the Shanti Price. Yeah, that's a foul. He's hit him in the back of the head. The foul will be on Quay King. Fouling Tim Moore. Frankie Denard, the inbound, he's looking good. Kick ball by Austin Lewis as Tim Moore had an open basket. 
and off I, the screen down low. And I love the intensity Savannah State is playing with. And you see we're almost four minutes in the game, and the score is still 5-3. to three. Excuse me, a total of three field goals made over the course of this game. Savannah State with the number one defense, and the Sia gets the number one offense, and Benedict, oh, men fall mm. to the ground. And we'll have a foul on Jordan Michael. I personally think that that was an offensive foul. I think Michael was there in time, but maybe it's because he was leaning a little bit early or he was maybe slightly late. It was his timing, is whether he was there or not, it's a little questionable, but I think he was there another time. He took it in the chest, but he was leaning just a tad bit early too as well. You have to be straight up and down when going for a charge. Price connects on the first free throw. Chancellor Wilson was sub in for Jordan Michael. Second tip coming up for Price, who averages 16 points per game. Second free throw is good for Price. He now has five points at the start of his first quarter. Landing being harassed by Denard in the backcourt. Landing being tried to kick it out to Wilson. Wilson dribbles hard. Almost lost his dribble. Lost it up to King. They just beat the full court press with 20 seconds left on the shot clock. Landing calling everything out. He's looking. Goes to the right elbow. He looks. Bounce pass it down low to Wilson who's being guarded by Brandon Smith. Wilson goes up strong. No good, but he'll have two shots. Good strong take by Chancellor Wilson. Yeah, that was great by Chancellor Wilson. Powering in two, three dribbles into the chest of his defender, going up strong, drawing the offensive, I mean, that's an offensive foul, <laughs> drawing the foul. As both teams go to timeout, we'll have two shots coming up for Chancellor Wilson as we will go to commercial break as well. You are watching the Black Collar Sports Network. We'll be right back at the start of the two free throws from Chancellor Wilson. This is Ryan Fulford. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc. and I. Welcome back, everyone, out of commercial break. We have two shots coming up for Chancellor Wilson. You are watching the Black College Sports Network, where we have Gob Gabriel has now subbed in for the Benedict College Tigers. Two shots coming up for Chancellor Wilson. I think Coach Maddox is going to try to get some more offense going with the sub for Gabriel. But if you notice, Chancellor Wilson, on that possession where he drew the foul as he makes the first free throw, free throw he, after the two, three dribbles, he went into his defender and not fade away. He forced the contact, not just hoping that the refs call a foul as he makes the second free throw. 7-5 lead, Benedict leads. Price looking, lobs it up to Gabriel. This press gave the Tigers trouble in last year's game in Savannah State. Hopefully it comes back for the Tigers of Savannah State. Denar calling out the shot, being guarded by Zion Davis. Hands it out to Ashanti Price. I like this matchup with Chancellor Wilson on Ashanti Price. They match heights. Frankie Denar coming off screen, gets inside, pulls up for the 17-footer, and it is good. You got the heads on those screens, make them come around. Or go further out, I mean. And A.J. Plain will now checking at the scores table for Savannah State. So will Calvin McCutcheon of Benedict. Landy looking. He's being guarded by Denar. He bounce passes it to King in the free throw line area. Queen doesn't like what he sees. Passes it back out to Wilson. Wilson gets inside. Loses it. Passes it back out to Austin. Austin loses for three. And it's no good. Rebound. Chancellor Wilson. It's a whole new shot clock. Davis. Tell Savannah State to calm down. Takes a look at the shot clock. Passes it out to Landy. Savannah State taking their time. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. They haven't got set into their offense. Denard harassing Landy. Landy lies it up to Wilson. Wilson with the shot and it's good. 
The one-hand jump shot is good. Nine to seven, Benedict leads. And I admire the patience Javante Landy is playing with. Despite the pressure and being harassed, he's still playing at his pace. Steal by Austin sets. Lewis. King bounce passes it to Landy. Landy looking. Bounce pass it to King. What a pass. No good off the back of the rim. Rebound Price. Gob Gay right now with the ball who has the height. Doesn't take the screen from Malachi McCoy. Pass it to Brandon Smith. Three coming up for Smith, and he is good from the right elbow. That's a good shot. Good shot by Brandon Smith. It was a great contest by Austin Lewis. He got out there, but you got to live with that shot. Jordan Michael will now checking at the scores table, and so will Michael Swift. Tim Moore as well for Benedict. Landy looking, kicks it out. They're swinging around the perimeter. Davis goes the baseline, runs out of dribble, and they say he stepped out of bounds. Turnover by Savannah State. We'll have a whole new lineup for Savannah State. Michael Swift will come in. A.J. Plain and Jordan Michael sitting down will be Javante Landy, Austin Lewis, and Quay King. Tim Moore will now sub in for Benedict, and so will Calvin McCutcheon. Sitting down will be Brandon Smith and Ashanti Price. Denard. Davis should have definitely retreated the dribble out of that. Denard taking his time. Three point until a great contest by Wilson. He oh, connects wow. again. Wow. From three. Frankie Denard. Back to back threes for Benedict. Savannah State has to be careful here. Flame receives a screen from Wilson. They don't call it. Chancellor wasn't looking. Bounce pass from Swift to Wilson. Davis for three. Rims out. Rebound Tim Moore. Calvin McCutcheon with a series of dribble moves. They got a mismatch down low between Malachi and McCoy. It's a miscommunication. It was a mismatch down low between Swift and McCoy. And Bro Coach Broadnex does not like that. Yeah, I, I know that he's upset. He's upset with Michael Swift. Yeah, it was a mismatch down below. Mm -hmm. McCutcheon went baseline. Swift helped on the drive, leaving McCoy wide open. Benedict coming out strong in his first half, 17-7 to lately with a 10-point lead. Both teams go to timeout, and so will we. Thank you guys for watching the Black Color Sports Network. We will be right back as both teams come out of timeout. Profit organization has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, and Parenting Education Coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network. Savannah State down by 10 points after the three-point attempt. By Calvin McCutcheon, Savannah State having a hard time bringing the ball up to court. Zion Davis being guarded by God Gabriel. And by the way, Benedict is 6-7 from the field and 3-3 three three from the three-point line. And Zion turned the ball over with Brandon Smith bringing it up. But Coach Bronex told me, hey, they want to defend the three, but they have not done a good job of that. Good shot by Tim Moore. Rebound Malachi McCoy. He saves it to McCutcheon. That'll be a backcourt violation. McCutcheon saves it. It'll still be backcourt. Both men tried to save the ball from going back court. Yeah, he definitely hit the floor before he could get rid of the ball and throw it back in the front court. And Quay King will now sub in for Zion Davis. Savannah State, however, they're one of five from three and two of 11 from the field. They're not gonna shoot that ball that well from the field. Then he definitely gets to the free throw line to see if they can draw some fouls. Wilson looking, pass it off the plane. Plain takes the screen from King. Plain with a nice lay is no good. Hey, I like that possession from AJ Plain. AJ Plain needs to be more of a, a scorer that can play make okay. rather than a, a playmaker that can score. And that's what you don't want to see. Malachi McCoy and Quay, Quay King battling for it down below. McCoy ends up with the ball and the basket. Plain, they're icing the screen, lobs it up to Michael. Michael pump fake, kicks it out to Swift. Swift takes a screen from Jordan. Swift kicks it out to Wilson. Wilson gets inside, goes up with a shot, rims out, tip, tip, right into the hands of Tim Moore. McCutcheon will now push the pace, being guarded by Michael Swift. 
And that's definitely good by Benedict. They definitely want to get the ball out of A.J. Plain's hands, and that's why they iced that screen there. Tim Moore for three. No good. A rebound, Swift. Swift like he wanted to take the three. Swift looking back at the call. Calling out signals. 19 seconds left like he had a hard time of hearing the signal. Has it out to Plain. Plain with the job. With cut off by McCutcheon. He lost his footing. Wilson gets back there. McCutcheon goes up with the lip and the foul. He's definitely the pushing it back by Chancellor Wilson. This is why referee Ray Lifer Jr. made that call. And head coach Horace Broadnick will call a timeout. He's talking to Chancellor Wilson on that drive right there. We have a three-point play opportunity coming up. If you're Benedict, this is the start that you want to see from right, Jamal? Definitely, definitely. But, hey, at the same time, though, basketball is a game of runs. You cannot panic Savannah State. And, Benedict, you cannot become too comfortable. Because last year in the playoffs, when Benedict was up 30 points going into halftime, even though Savannah State never regained the lead, they closed it down to seven. However, so both teams still have to kind of keep their composure over the course of this game. We have the band playing behind us right now. I'm sorry if you guys cannot hear us. Benedict has walked out to a 14 point lead with only 11 minutes and seven seconds left in this first half. We'll see what head coach Horace Broadnex does for the Savannah State Tigers as they come out of this timeout break. We have a three-point play opportunity coming up for Calvin McCutcheon as when both teams come out of timeout. My partner said before, his Benedict College College team is the number one scoring offense in the conference. Savannah State, the number one defense in the SIAC conference. We'll see which statistic will break first. Three-point play chance coming up for Benedict as we have Brandon Beetle, Beidelman subbing in for Benedict, a very shifty guard. Mm, very. Th three point play opportunity coming up for McCutcheon. And, and a veteran guard, too, with that. That's a plus for Benedict. Benedict has a lot of veteran players. Players that are battle tested, that have made deep runs in the playoffs together. McCutcheon will connect on a three point play. As my partner said, Benedict is a very experienced team. They don't have anyone lower than a junior. All of their players are juniors and seniors and graduate students. Plain takes the buck from McCutcheon. Receives a screen. They hedge. Chancellor Wilson goes in strong. Doesn't like what he see. Kicks it out to King. He just not handles it. 14 seconds left on the shot clock. King being guarded by Gabriel. Lob pass to Plain. Plain was stolen by Calvin McCutcheon. Turnover by again for Savannah State. Brandon Beetleman tries to go inside. Stolen from the backside by Wilson, but they call a foul. His second foul on the game. He doesn't agree with the call. Ray Lightfoot Jr., the referee, made the call. Coach Rodnex talking with, with Clyde Hill. Bottleman being guarded by Swift, the outstanding freshman who tipped it from the backside, but Bateman dived on the floor. And McKelton tried to bounce pass. It was a stolen by Chancellor Wilson. Great defense by Swift to be able to poke the ball from the back. Side by McCutcheon. Swift now almost lost the handle off the back hood. Goes baseline. Hits it off of Bidelman, but it doesn't go out of bounds. It hits it right into the hands of Tim Moore. Bidelman with the, with the ball. Pump fake. Gets inside. Kicks it to McCutcheon. McCutcheon stole by A.J. Plain, but right into the hands of Tim Moore. Was poked away. Playing a very handsy defender. A top five in steals. Beetleman penetrates, kicks it outside to bottom. They swing it around the perimeter. Ten seconds left. Great defense again by Swift. Diving on the floor. McCutcheon kicks it down low to Moore. Moore running out of dribble. Throws up a heave up a shot off the backboard. Rims Ooh, out. Rebound King. In. Savannah State has the numbers if they push it. They hit Swift. Swift pulls up mid-range jump shot. No good. He was wide open. Missed it off the back of the rim. It's a mismatch down below between Moore and Swift. Savannah State's got to communicate. It's a mismatch, and that's where they go. Moore being guarded by Swift. They got a double team. Moore pulls up jump shot. No good. Rebound playing. Swift did a very good job on the defensive side. Let's see, let's see if Savannah State can try to get it inside and bang bodies and see if they can draw fouls. Let's see if they get into their high-low action that they like to do. Playing blitz on the screen. Kicks it to King. King. Gets inside and it was fouled. There it is. Yeah. We'll have free throw attempts coming up 
for Quay King. The foul was on, I believe, Gob Gabriel. Yep, it was. Yeah. Yep. Zion Davis now checking in the score table for Savannah State. First free throw attempt coming up for King to give him his first basket. First basket is good. Zion Davis and Javante Lanny will sub in for Savannah State. Ashanti Price and Malachi McCoy will check in for Benedict. Sitting down for Savannah State will be Chancellor Wilson. And Michael Swift in for Benedict. Tim Moore and Brandon Smith. Second attempt coming up for King. Kings goes two for two from the free throw line. 22-9, Benedict leads. Bottleman being trapped in the backcourt. He's looking, scanning the floor. Gets it up across half court to Calvin McCutcheon. Savannah State double teaming in the backcourt. Bottleman bounce pass it to Gabriel. They Great swing it around. Defense. Three Great from Prince. Defense. No good. Rebound McCoy. Cooks up a shot and it was foul. Broadnex is heated with Quay King. Malachi McCoy, a top 10 rebounder in his conference. You had... You got the shot that you wanted your Savannah State, a tough contested shot from that, Price. And that was great defense by Savannah State, rotating, helping that helper. A.J. playing, contesting Ashanti Price in the corner. He shot a very tough corner shot. But, hey, Malachi McCoy got the tough rebound. Went up against Quay King, it was, right? Quay King. Quay King should went just straight up and down. However, fouling Malachi McCoy. McCoy connects from both free throws, making this lead up to 15, 24-9. This is something that Savannah State has not been accustomed to, being down by this much in the first half. Landy being guarded by Bidelman. Bidelman harassing Landy. Great, Great handles. handles. Landy looking, bounce passes it to King. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. And that's how you take your time to get your team in the offense. Plain takes the screen from King, being hedged by McCoy. Plain lobs it up to Davis. He was rejected by God Gabriel if he didn't However, reject though, it. I will say, Javante Landy can't do better in getting his team in the offense yeah. quicker than what he is, though. It's nice to be patient and take your time, but you got to get your team in the offense quicker. Great so defense way, by Landy from the tip ball. God Gabriel for three. He connects. So that way your team has more time on the shot clock to run the set. Seems like Benedict hasn't left off from their last matchup against Ella Water. They shot a combined 58% field goal percentage as the team. Bottleman harassing get, get Landy. Get him into it. Get him into it. Landy takes the screen from King. They got a mismatch on King on Bottleman. Landy looking to get it to King, who's being guarded by Bottleman. It was a mismatch. Bottleman reads. Great Reed. hands. Great yeah. hands by Bottleman. Gabriel lobs it up. Surprise. He saves it to McCoy. Misses. Rebound. Davis. He was looked to push the pace. He'll slow it down, being guarded by Bidelman. Davis looking, looking, looking. Stolen by Price. Price with a two-on-two -two break. Lies it up to McCoy. He did, he lost his footing. He's looking. Kicks it out to Bidelman. Bidelman for three. And he connects. 30-9 lead. Benedict has... They haven't seen the left off where they had last time against Arrow Waters. They've been connected from the three-point ball, and Savannah State cannot seem to score. This game is going right into the hands of the Benedict Tigers as they have a 30-9 lead. Both teams will take a timeout. We'll be right back. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center, an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids' apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com 
and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. Welcome everyone back. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network where the Benedict College Tigers have a 30-9 lead over Savannah State. Referee Light Ray Lightfoot will hand it off to Quay King. King bounces it off the plane. Seven minutes and four seconds left in his first half as this is Greek night here at Benedict College. King not looking. Bounce pass it to Jordan. Jordan almost loses it. Gets it back being guarded by Matumbo. Rufus Pippenfoot lies it up to King. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Savannah State having trouble getting something up. King gets the ball back. Four seconds left. Put it up a heave of a shot. It was rebound by Malachi McCoy. Savannah State struggling to score. The great defense by Benedict. Only two of 15 from the field right now. Beat him in for three off the screen. No good. Rebound Matumbo being guarded by Quay King. He goes up strong with the left hand. And the crowd is ecstatic by Brick that. Gregor Matumbo on the putback. Savannah State can't seem to buy a bucket. Michael Swoop checking in at the scores table. Plain lobs it up to Landy. Landy swing it around. Davis for three from the left elbow to high archer. No good. Rebound Brittany Matumbo. Bottoman just crossing half court, being guarded by Landy. Takes a screen from Brittany Mertumbo, who's being a brick wall to Landy. Hands it off to Gabriel. Landy trying to run Gabriel off the three-point line. They kick it around. Three cups coming up from Malachi McCoy, and he connects. Oh, my god! From the it's right. It's just a party. It's just a party. A three-point party, and everybody from Ben Nick to show up, but showed up to it, but apparently nobody from Savannah State got the invite. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Landy that funny. Side, throws up a shot. No good. Rebound Jordan. He goes up. He misses. Tip by King. He couldn't get the tip. They just can't get Rebound the lid off the Malachi basket McCoy. at this point. They can't buy one. Even easy tip-ins, they can't get one. Like Savannah State is just allergic to scoring at this point. I don't. I mean, I, I have no answer behind it. Does he have a tip ball by AJ Plain? It will remain Benedict's ball. Two of 20 from the field. Savannah State is. Swift has now subbed in the game for Savannah State, guarding Brandon Bidelman. Swift takes, the, I'm sorry, Bidelman takes the screen from McCoy. They call a foul on Michael Swift as Bidelman goes to the floor. That'll be Michael Swift's first personal foul. Referee Kevin Cham Chambles. Will bounce it off to Malachi McCoy. McCoy bounces it to Bidelman. 19 seconds left on the shot clock. Swift guarding Bidelman. Bidelman choosing his way he want to go. Takes the screen from McCoy. Looking. Stolen one, one, by one, Swift. Two, Tip. Swift dies on the floor. And it will be a foul on Brandon Bidelman. Great Thank defense you. for Michael Swift. The Michael freshman. Swift. Hey, that was great getting in the passing lane. Benedict got into a horn set then. Giving Bidelman the, op the chance, the option to go either way. But, hey, Michael Swift did a great job getting a hand in the lane. Chancellor Wilson will now sub in for Quay King. Swift inbounds it to A.J. Plain. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Plain takes the screen from Wilson. Looking, Plain looking. Crossover, three-pointed to him off the step back. No good. Rebound, Brittany Mertumbo. Skies in the air for that rebound. Price will now take the ball to the court, being guarded by Chancellor Wilson. In and out, dribble move. Pulls up, three-point attempt. No, oh, the ball is stuck. <laughs> oh, if you uh, jump ball, the ball got stuck. Yeah, you, don't see, you don't see many wedgies. <laughs> you don't see that too many. <laughs> Frankie Denard will now sub in for Brandon Bottoman of Benedict. I remember when I was younger and, you know, we wasn't tall enough and wasn't able to jump high enough to get the ball when it's stuck. So you have to get something the, else, like yep, another ball, ball or something yep, to try to hit that. it out. <laughs> Luckily, these guys have the ups to do that. I don't have the ups to do that. That's why I sit here. <laughs> What a take by Plain. They don't what? call a foul. He's very 
Wow. I'm no really foul. surprised they, they didn't call foul. that. Yeah. There was definitely some contact there yeah. on that possession. That's what the coach Broadnecks wants from playing to be more aggressive. Or you're going to be more aggressive, you're going to and that's want something a foul call. You, yeah. State, you need that at right now at the moment. Warner Davis will now check into the game. He'll sub in for A.J. Plain. Plain lipping as he goes to the sideline. Swift looking. Bounce pass it to Davis. Davis jabs to three. No good. Rebound Malachi McCoy. McCoy sprinting up the court. He's a big man with handles. Goes baseline on Jordan, and they call a foul. They call that foul. <laughs> but didn't call the foul on the other end. Yeah, A.J. Plain definitely got fouled on that, <laughs> on that drive right there. And so there was a nice hesitation move the way he crawls back, paused for a split second. He got Chancellor to relax for a split second too. Crossed right back, blowing by, and got the step on Chancellor, going up for the layup. Chancellor a little bit behind due to the hesitation move. McCoy misses on the first free throw attempt. Quay King and Trey May will sub in for Savannah State. Alongside for Benedict, Brandon Smith, and Tim Moore was sub in. Trey Mays doesn't get a lot of minutes. Averaging about two minutes a game, just about. Gob Gabriel and Brittany Matumbo will take a seat. Second attempt coming up for McCoy. One or two from the free throw line. There goes McCoy. 36-9 lead. Swift. Sprints up the ball. Stops on the dime. Being guarded by Brandon Smith. Swift. Hands it off to Davis. Almost with a turnover again for Savannah State. Davis being guarded by Denard. Hands it off to Wilson. And they still haven't been able to crack double digits. They haven't. Davis looking. 12 seconds left. Baseline jump shot. There he it connects. Is. Tough shot by Zion Davis to give him his first two points of the game. Maybe I jinxed them. That's the announcer jinx right there. <laughs> yep. Do I have powers? They <laughs> just crossed double digits. Trey Mays in the game guarding Frankie Denard. Davis harassing Hashanti Price. Spin move. He tries to go good trap. Kicks it to McCoy, who throws up a three. No good off the front of the rim. Over the back on Tim Moore. Yeah, over the back. The foul will be on Tim Moore. Benedict, A.J. Plain will now sub in for Trey Mays. Three minutes and 34 seconds left in this first half. And we have a timeout right here. Benedict with a 25-point lead. Who would have expected that? 36 to 11, they lead. You are watching the Black Collar Sports Network. We will be right back as both teams come out of the timeout break. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slowburn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge, featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www. Dot slowburnwaco.com That's www.slowburnwaco.com You see Head & Shoulders has a scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working! I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University Sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU Athletics, there's only one place to go. Tune in to The Carlos Brown Show, exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network where we have a battle between the number one scoring defense and the number one scoring offense. But if you look, if you take a look at the score, you will say what number one defense that Savannah State has allowed 36 points in its first half, only scoring 11, the lowest they've had in their season. Swift passes to Davis, they break the press. Davis in the quarter being tracked, kicks it out to King. King, mid-range jump shot, no good off the back of the rim. They can't buy a basket. The thing is, though, you could defend all you want, but if you're not scoring on the other end, too, the times they do score, it's still going to be a deficit. Tim Moore's a grown man down there. Two shots coming up for Tim Moore as he body A.J. playing down there. He had the size advantage. Moore, a grown man. Two shots coming up for Tim Moore. A man amongst boys. A man amongst boys. A.J. playing only 6'4". Tim Moore coming in. Doesn't say his size, but I believe he's he's not 6'4". He's got that grown man strength. Two shots coming up for Moore. 
Brendan Matumbo at the scores table for Benedict. Moore con connects on the first free throw. Brendan Matumbo will now check in for Malachi McCoy of Benedict. Second attempt coming up from Moore. Moore goes two for two, 100% from the free throw line, 38 to 11. Extended lead to this 27 point. Playing goes, penetrates the defense, kick it out to Swift. Swift for three, no good. Rebound Quay King, who loses a foot and goes up strong and is Very good. Fun. I'm Wait. actually not going to lie to you. I had spoke with Coach Broad tonight when I first asked him the question, what do you have planned for this game? He did say, luck in the prayer. No one decided to pick up Tim Moore. He just cruised through the defense. Broadnecks giving Ray Lightfoot Jr. an earful. He believing that he carry on the play. Playing goes in strong, takes the contact to Frankie Denard, and they will call a foul. Benedict has some athletes. They have guys that have quick feet. They also have guys that can touch the sky. People that are agile and can change directions quickly. First free throw by AJ is good. Vendick right now is just a, a better basketball team than Savannah State. Javante Landon will now sub in for Michael Swift and Calvin McCutcheon will now sub check in for Frankie Denard of Benedict. To answer your question, Tim Moore is 6'6". Six, 6'6", six. Six, that's a <laughs> two-inch height difference. Not to mention the size and the muscle difference. Not calling AJ playing weak by any means, but Tim Moore is a grown man. McCutcheon kicks it to Price. Price with a very athletic layup, as you like to say, to kick it to Landon, who pushes the pace. He has the numbers, goes inside, jump shot, and he connects from the 15-footer. Landy, a very shifty guard once he gets in the transition, has to handle. Moore tries to hit it off Quay King's leg, but right into the hands of Javante Landy. He sprints up the court, being guarded by Brandon Smith. Landy, crossover, move, step back, crossover, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Calvin McCutcheon. And that's what you want to see if you're Coach Horace Brodnick. You want to see the aggression from your guards. We have a timeout right there by Artis Maddox of Coach of Benedict, Savannah State, down 40 to 17. Benedict jumping out to this lead, almost astronomical, hitting threes at a high, consistent rate. Savannah State seemingly, seemingly having a hard time to score. Jamal, what have you seen from this stat sheet from both teams? Man, oh man. I said a little bit earlier, Benedict is right now a better basketball team than Savannah State is. They have multiple guys that can handle the ball, get the team in the offense, blow by a defender, take the defender off the dribble. Definitely, absolutely, <laughs> multiple guys that can shoot and knock down shots, which makes it hard to defend, especially when you got people you know, players taking your teammates off the dribble. So it was like, how can I come over and help? And I have a shooter right here in the corner. Almost everybody's saying, hey, I have a shooter in the yeah. corner. So it makes it extremely oh. difficult and it puts the defense of Savannah State in a pretty much of a bond. tough situation. Yeah, yeah. Like being stuck between a rock and a hard place. Price tries to go baseline. They'll call a hip check foul on AJ Plain. But at the same time though, I trust the athletes of Savannah State to guard their man in a one on one situation. Price shooting one of one, one of one free throw for Benedict. Price first free throw attempt connects. Second attempt for Price. Two for two, he goes. Wilson, the inbounder, checks it in to Swift. Swift being guarded by Brandon Smith. Swift looking to the sideline, calling out the signal. Sprints up the court. Swift looking, looking. Chest passes it to Wilson. 20 seconds left. Pull up jump shot by Wilson. He's no good. Rebound Price. Benedict has definitely built a wall in the paint of forcing Savannah State to shoot jump shots. Mm -hmm. And they have not been able to knock them down. Price takes the screen for Brandon Matumbo. They double team. Matumbo gets through, throws up a shot off the top of the backboard. And he oh, connects. No. The thing is, though, this has not been the Ashante Price show. It hasn't. 
Price run into and was rejected by Matumbo. Wilson goes up. He misses a bunny layup but follows up his own shot. Kicks it to King. King mid-range jumps up from the free throw. No good. Rebound Wilson. They kick it out to Swift. Swift calms the offense down. 18 seconds left on the shot clock. Swift looking. Pump fake. Running out. Kicks it to King. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. King jab step move. Goes inside. Great contest by Tim Moore. Moore puts up those elbows. That grown man he is. Well, takes at, the rebound. At least they're doing something right and getting the offensive boards. Also, too, they need to jump into the defender and see if they can force some contact to get some fouls. But Benedict doing a great job of contesting without fouling, though. Hands up in the air and just using their athleticism, you know, jumping up and skying for contests and rebounds. After a while, that definitely takes a toll, too, trying to jump with these guys of Benedict because they are extremely athletic. you got multiple Skywalkers. Time running out. Nine, eight, seven, six. Price trying to hold the shot. Goes baseline. Pulls up a heaver of a shot off the backboard. Playing. And that will be the end to this first half of playing throws up a heaver, which is no good. The Benedict College Tigers have jumped out to a 27-point lead versus Savannah State. Savannah State looking. They're going to have to make some adjustments for the Benedict Tigers. This is what you wanted to see as things look not too far off against their last game against Evil Waters. Shooting at a shooting at very high rate from the three-point arc. As both teams go into halftime, we'll take a halftime break as well. We'll be right back at the start of the, at the, start of the second half. Alongside me is Jamal Rowe, and I'm your host, Travis Petty. You are watching the Black College Sports Network. At CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI, and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K-E-A-V-E-R-S-V-O-I-C-E dot -E -E com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? <laughs> oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never not working. Never not working. Never ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Standard protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thins. This is always like never before. 
thank you guys for what you do for HBCU athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for 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 all of us. This is our ESPN, so we we we, we love what you guys do, Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN. We really appreciate what it is that you got you guys do for us. is a premium health and wellness tea line focused on bringing delicious yet healthy tea blends to the community. Filled with an abundance of vitamins and antioxidants, we work to blend teas with exotic spices and fruits to produce scrumptious and wholesome beverages. So check us out at MyMajestees.com. That's M-Y-M-A-J-E-S-T-E-A-S.com. My Majesties, an Urban Passport member. Let's face it, shopping for insurance can be time consuming. That's why when it comes to your auto, home, and life insurance needs, make things simple and trust the experts at Allstate. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time, so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember they can use less. Sweet pillars of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll it back, everybody. <laughs> we all go. Why not enjoy the go with Charmin? Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN. So we, 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 we love what you guys do, Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN. We really appreciate what it is that you got, you guys do for us. A.D. Drew and I are co-hosts of the BCSN Sports Wrap. We talk about all things related to HBCU athletics. From the games, teams, coaches, and fan interest stories, we cover it all. You can find our shows on Facebook at BCSN Sports Wrap, YouTube at MyJBN Online, and everywhere you listen to podcasts like Anchor, Spotify, Google, and Apple Podcasts. You can also find the show on the Jericho Broadcast Network's app. Make sure to download. We look forward to you joining the conversation and being a part of the show. What up, y'all? It's Gary Gray. Check it out. I need you to do something for me. Join me April 26th through the 28th at the Cortland Grand Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia for Urban Nerd Con. It's going to be lit. Okay. Our heroes, our villains, everyone's con. See y'all there. Visit theurbannerdcon.net to get your buy one, get one free badges before the price increases. Remember, our heroes, our villains, our stories, everyone's con. See you. Since 2002, Empowerment Resources, Inc., a nonprofit organization, has empowered more than 1,500 youth and adults in Duval and surrounding counties. Through its programs, Journey into Womanhood, Girls Mentoring, Life Skills for Teens, 
and parenting education coaching. To get involved with programs, volunteer, or donate, visit www.empowermentresourcesinc.org. Follow us on social media, facebook.com forward slash empowerment.resources and instagram.com forward slash empowermentjax. When it comes to professional learning, teachers deserve better. From the leader in online learning, Stride brings you the Stride Professional Development Center an on-demand library of mobile-friendly courses that gives teachers choice and flexibility, allowing them to learn anytime and anywhere. Our dynamic courses provide bite-sized learning and help educators advance their knowledge while also gaining professional development hours. It's time you take charge of your learning. Visit us today to get started. It's never too early to plant the seed, to share the tradition, and instill a sense of pride in your HBCU with your little ones. HBCU Pride and Joy Children's Boutique helps you share your school spirit with a wide selection of adorable kids apparel and accessories officially licensed from your favorite HBCU. Visit HBCUPrideJoy.com and follow us on all social media at HBCU Pride Joy on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you, got, you guys do for us. From novice to aficionado, find yourself here. High quality cigars plus personal customer service. Slow Burn is Waco's only mobile cigar lounge featuring a meticulous curated collection of premium cigars. Visit our website, www.slowburnwaco.com. That's www.slowburnwaco.com. You see, Head & Shoulders has a scalp shield technology protects against flakes even between washes. It's never not working. Kind of like us. Number 15? Never not working! I don't like this one. Me neither. Let's get out of here. Head & Shoulders scalp shield. Never not working. When you're looking for the latest information on Southern University sports, the Southwestern Athletic Conference, and HBCU Athletics, there's only one place to go. Welcome everyone, we are 3 minutes and 29 seconds left from the start of the second half. Benedict with a 27 point lead in this second half. We're going to have Jamal Rowland break down the stats and give you guys a statistical anal analyzation <laughs> analysis. analysis from his point of view. Yeah man, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but I could the thing is though is, hey, major difference is just it's a make or miss league. Yeah. Major difference is just making shots. Yeah, uh, Benedict just has guys that can make, make shots. shots. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that's, a li that's literally it. I mean, they're 14 of 28 from the field. Savannah State is five of 34 from the field. One of eight from three. Benedict is six of 11 from three. You know, just a little bit earlier when they had seven three-point attempts, the amount of attempts that Savannah State has was almost the amount of makes Benedict has. Benedict is also 10 of 11 from the free throw line. Savannah State is just not being the normal Savannah State team that we see. You know, slowing the game down, making it a half-court game, making you play at their pace. Savannah State just hasn't been able to do that. They haven't been able to really force turnovers. Benedict only has seven turnovers while uh, Savannah State has eight. And also, too, on those turnovers, Savannah State has no points off of those turnovers. Benedict has nine points off of those turnovers. Not only are they forcing the turnovers, but they're capitalizing. They, they capitalize everything Benedict does good, whether it's offensive rebounds, forcing turnovers, or drawing fouls. Like it, they capitalize on it. They make free throws. They make open shots. Savannah State has not capitalized 
on anything good that they've done. When they force a turnover, they have not capitalized on them. They have zero points off a of uh, of turnover. Excuse me. They don't have how many? Let me take a look here real quick. A second chance points. Second chance points. Savannah State only has four second chance points. But when you look at their offensive rebounds, they have 11 offensive rebounds. They're doing good. They're getting offensive rebounds, but not capitalizing on it. Oh, Why? Not. Because Benedict building a wall around the basket, stopping Savannah State from getting in the paint. And when they do get in the paint, they got guys that can jump up high and contest. Not to mention they got some grown men on the other end of the court. But they're men, they're men amongst boys. Yeah. But Savannah State, though, however, I do think they can try to, to do better and get to the free throw line to get something going. But that's what I think Savannah State could do. That was Jamal. But Benedict, hey, like, oh, I'm so sorry. But Benedict, they're doing great right now defending without fouling. That was Jamal Rowland's halftime analyzation. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Both teams were going to their huddle with 34 seconds left before we break out to start this second half. Benedict with a 27-point lead. This is the number one scoring offense versus the number one score. The versus the number one defense in the Sayat Conference. Savannah Stig allowing over 44 points in his first half, but only Very managing to score characteristic 17. Characteristic of them. Yeah. Very characteristic. Benedict not seemingly didn't come. I mean, I don't really know what to say. They're coming in hot. Their game on Monday against Edward Waters, they, had, they shot the same for field goal percentage on the three-point arc. Couldn't miss. Like, Benedict is shooting 54% excuse me, from three. Savannah State has to discourage three-point attempts. Because if you're not taking threes, you can't make threes. And then, you know, when they, when they run them off the line, see, they could probably take a charge, Savannah State. But Benedict, they're just doing great right now. They're just uh, playing better basketball at this moment. Benedict will receive the second half possession. Inbound the ball will be Malachi McCoy. He kicks it to Calvin McCutcheon. And the second half is underway. McCutcheon being guarded by Zion Davis. Backcourt. This cross passes it to Brandon Smith. Being guarded by Austin Lewis. Smith takes the screen. What a pick and roll between oh Smith gosh. and McCoy. He lobbed it up to McCoy. And it resulted in a dunk. A.J. Plain will now come back into the starting lineup. Plain kicks it to Lewis. Lewis kicks it to Wilson. Wilson pump fakes. Kicks it inside, doesn't see what he like. Passes it to Lewis. Wilson, baseline, running out of dribble. Bounce pass it, it was stolen by Brandon Smith. Even Chancellor Wilson there, picking up his dribble, driving without a plan. Illegal Not sure, screen. had nowhere to go. Yeah. We have a legal screen on Malachi McCoy. Savannah State's ball. Wilson bounce pass it to Plain. Plain being guarded by McCutcheon. Full court. Plain calling out the signal. Looking over at Broadnecks. Artis Maddox calling out the defensive signal. They get it down to Jordan Michael, who's being guarded by Tim Moore. What power move by Jordan. Great that's what move. you want to see. Great yeah. move. They, that's definitely, definitely what you want to see. Benny, they have more points in the paint than Savannah State in the first half. Let's see if Savannah State can match that. Great contest by Chancellor Wilson, but as Price Ashanti knocks Price. down the three. Benedict is the number one three-point field goal percentage team in the SIAC. They make the most threes out of any team in the conference, and so far you've seen it in this game. Playing, penetrates the defense. He'll bully him when they get it inside to Jordan. Jordan being guarded by Tim Moore to kick it to Plain. Two-man game between Plain and Jordan, and the ball was tilted away from Moore out of bounds. Let's see if Jordan Michael can, you know, force some fouls and get to the free throw line for Savannah State to get something going. Because I see they're trying to feed it into him. I would have a child on the court. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I mean, you ever see kids, you yeah. wonder, like, hey, was I like that when mm -hmm. I was a kid? Was I just running around doing random stuff? Not with my parents. You said that with your parents? Not with my parents. <laughs> you got to see where you at. Oh, we have a law pass to Michael who's being guarded by Moore. Moore is good by Jordan Michael. Who takes it to the main amongst boys of Tim Moore. And that's the second possession that he scored on. A layup right at the basket. Brandon Smith beats Austin Lewis baseline. They need to get it out. Let's see. 
Perhaps Savannah State needs to try to do what Ben, take a page out of Ben's book and try to beat the defense down there since there's a tough defense to play against. Davis gets it inside, running floater, no good. Rebound McCoy, he tries to save it, he does, right into the hands of Tim Moore. Moore just gets it up court, looking, looking. Bounce passes it to Smith, and they set up the offense with 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Smith receives the screen from Moore. Smith gets inside, layup. What a tough layup by Smith. As I said before, multiple guys. That what can a go pass to my. Oh, he missed the bunny. What a pass from playing to Jordan. Jordan just couldn't connect on the two point. Look. Smith being guarded by Lewis. Series of crossover moves. Three point attempt over Lewis. No good. McCoy playing, fighting for the rebound, and it will be Savannah State's ball. And at Why? this point, Bending is just having fun with Savannah State. Players are now just, you know, getting into their bags, getting into their moves, and just having their way with Savannah State right now. Quay King will now sub in for Austin Lewis. Wilson. And then inbounds it to Plain. Being guarded by McCutcheon. Full court again. McCutcheon giving Plain no airspace to breathe. But Plain with great dribble moves. Runs into the horde. Wilson. Bounce pass it to Jordan. He's being double teamed. Wilson now with the ball. Bounce pass it to Jordan. Coach Broadnay is one of a kick ball. Referees don't call anything. 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Plain looking, 12 seconds left on the shot clock. The inbounder passes it to King. King takes McCoy to the paint. Queen loses the ball, tips it out to Plain. Four seconds left on the shot clock. Plain goes baseline. Layup from underneath the basket and it's good. There we go. So Benny State getting some baskets now. Back driving and driving hard too. Oh, we always have a steal in the backcourt. Wilson diving for it. Smith gets it to McCoy. They just get it across half court. McCutcheon penetrates the defense, brings it back out. Great help defense See, that's by Jordan. The retreat dribble I'm talking yeah. about. Instead of picking up his dribble early or getting too deep and picking up his dribble or forcing, he retreated back out. Nice fake. Wait, block. Nice fake. Oh. It was a nice fake by Tim Moore. Great. Tim Moore was about to hand it off to Ashante, Ashante Price. The defender played the handoff, hesitated for a split second, and split the defense on the double team. Had a wide open dunk attempt there, but then got fouled. That was a great fake on the handoff right there. Frankie Denard checking in at the scores table, and so was Juan Gordon of Savannah. Juan, Juan, Juan Gordon of Savannah State. Correction. He'll sub in for Jordan Michael. Correction. Quay King and Frankie Denard will come in for Brandon Smith. Savannah State having issues with their substitution. It was a confusion from the substitution of Savannah State. Juan Gordon checked in for Savannah State. Quay King went to the sideline. I believe Broadnix wanted Chancellor Wilson to sub out. Three-point play opportunity coming up for Moore. I see Coach Broadnix subbing and subbing, trying to find the answer on his team, but just not able to find it. Bob Gabriel now sub in for Benedict. Jordan the inbounder, bounds it into Plain. Plain loses the dribble, regains it. Plain looking, takes the screen from Gordon. Plain gets it inside, throws up a shot, no good, follows up his own shot. Pumpe goes up there strong, no good. See, and that's the score that can play make versus the playmaker that can score. Him being aggressive, driving through, going up. And then not connecting again, following up with this rebound and drawing the foul. That's the aggression that I'm sure Coach Broadness would like to see from AJ Plain. Yeah, we have two shots coming up for AJ Plain. Both teams take a timeout break, and we will take a commercial break. You are watching the Black College Sports Network. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Rowland. We'll be right back. Tune in to the Carlos Brown Show exclusively on the Black College Sports Network. Brown Town, trying to get down. It's like a loot machine. 
at CDW, we get speed as the new currency of success. Our team spends way too much time tending to outdated applications and software when they should be focused on driving application agility and innovation. CDW Amplify Development Services modernizes software and application development to help accelerate innovation and digital transformation. So you mean building new applications, UI and mobile interfaces? Well, you said you needed to innovate more quickly. Oh, so he's a listener. To do more at scale, trust CDW Amplify Development Services. The human voice has always connected audiences with experiences. Major brands all across America have trusted Kevers Voice time and time again. Conversational, powerhouse, intelligent, and sincere. That's the voice you need for your creative marketing process. K E A V E R S V O I C E dot com. Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice, Kevers Voice dot com. Always on, all the time. Welcome back, everyone, to the Black College Sports Network. We have two free throw attempts coming up for A.J. Plain. The Benedict College Tigers leading with a 32-point lead, 55-23. Two free throw attempts coming up for Plain after the timeout. Plain connects from the first attempt. Second attempt coming up for Plain. Playing two for two from the free throw line. Cut the lead down to just 30 points. God Gabriel, Savannah State trapping in the backcourt. Benedict like, beats the press. Yeah. And I like to see Savannah State trap too because they were able to force some near turnovers or even get some actual turnovers with their trap. McCutcheon takes the screen from Gabriel. Step back, kicks it to Denard. Denard penetrates the defense. Good hands by Juan Gordon to steal by Zion Davis. He bounced past it to Plain. Savannah State has the numbers. Plain goes in strong with the acrobatic layup. Lost the handle of it. And the position and the possession will go to Benedict. You had the transition points. And they don't have any fast break points. But Benedict has about five fast break points. Savannah State being patient on the offensive end. Plain looking, being guarded by McCutcheon. Spin move as McCutcheon on his back. They swing it around. Chancellor Wilson with the ball looking. Passes it to Davis. Davis pump fakes. Almost lost the handle. He's being white on Rice. It's Frankie Denard. He rips the ball from Davis. Doing takes it from too him. Much. Outlet pass to Price. And a wow. That's showtime. Yeah, and Price was that's looking for that all game. Yeah. He did two lobs earlier. That was a nice assist, though. Javante Landon was checking at the scores table for Savannah State and Brittany Bertumbo for Benedict. What a move by Chancellor Wilson. Two attempts coming up for Wilson. That was a very good highlight reel play by Prince. To, uh, I'm sorry, Price to McCoy. That was a great highlight reel play. There must be someone named Prince talking about you yeah. somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> but it's something that Benedict does. They have the high flyer, like you said before, very athletic. Tall defenders that can score as well. As you can see, alley oop dunk. Wilson connect from the first free throw attempt. And Savannah State has actually done good at the at the free throw line. They're actually been making their free throws. They're 100 percent eight of eight from the free throw line right now. Brendan Matumbo will check in for Calvin McCutcheon, and Austin Lewis will come back in the game. So as so will Javante Landing sitting down will be AJ Plain and Jordan Michael. 8 of 40 from the field, Savannah State is. That's 20% yeah. from the field. Savannah State still trapping in the back with Malachi McCoy. Bounce passes it, and he turns it over. Put a Turnover Benedict. Savannah State with the ball, 27-57. Benedict leads by 30. Javante Landon bringing the ball up the court, being guarded by Frank and Denard. Denard, a very good defender. Landon takes the screen, passes it to Wilson. Wilson nice goes up strong, score. rejected by Matumbo. Hey, even though he was blocked, there was still a nice, strong move driving into the defense. However, though, Malachi McCoy went straight up and just played perfect defense without fouling. Matumbo looked like McKinbay Matumbo on that block. <laughs> <laughs> Coming out of nowhere, Wilson, like he wants to lob it up. They lob it up to Landy. 
And Landy now will bring the ball to the court. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Landy behind the back move. Looking, pass it to Wilson. He lost it, but regains it. Being guarded by Gabriel. Good hesitation move, and they call a foul on Gabriel. Benedict does not agree with the call. Referee Ray Lightfoot talks about the call. Goes over to the scores table, say the foul was on God Gabriel. Two shots coming up for Wilson. Going on, eh? and we're trying to figure out positioning. Oh, yeah. He's going to be where in the box. Brandon Smith at the scores table, and Michael Swift for Savannah State. First free throw was good from Wilson. Swift would check in for Juan Gordon, and Brandon Smith will sub in for Ashante Price. Ashanti Price. Second attempt coming up for Wilson. Wilson, no good off the back iron. Rebound Frankie Denard. Denard with the head of steam, slows it down. Great cutoff by Swift, he's trapped. Lies it up to Gabriel, they leave Smith open for three. He puts it up and it is good. The lack of rotation from the Savannah State defense results in a three point attempt from Benedict. Brandon Smith shooting 33% from the three-point line, which isn't too bad, but, hey, a capable shooter, though. Landy Spimu lost his footing. Two men in the same area for Savannah State. Lewis goes baseline, cut off by McCoy. Austin running out of dribbles, lobs it up to Swift. Swift, five seconds left on the shot clock. Swift, fall away, jump shot, no good. Rebound, Brittany Mutombo. Smith being trapped, lobs it up. Tipped by Michael Swivel right into the hands of Frankie Denard. And Jay playing at the scores table. Denard, double crossover, takes the screen from a tumble. Savannah State's trapped. Smith tries to go baseline. Great defense by landing, good, good contest, but it doesn't matter. The fall away jump shot is good. That was great, a great shot by Brandon Smith. Using his size advantage, shooting over the top of Javante Landy. Landed great hedge by Denard. They call a block and follow Frankie Denard. I meant to say great hedge by Britton and Matumbo. The foul is on number five, Frankie Denard. Brandon Bideman will now sub in for Malachi McCoy. And A.J. Plain will make Austin Lewis sit down. The hedge by Benedict, they're doing a great job with the hedge because they're really making the guards at Savannah State really come out far, yeah. giving their primary defender enough time to get around the screen. Great hop step move, pump fake, kicks it to Plain. They swing it around, too much muster by Plain. Turnover, God Gabriel in transition. Euro step move, goes to the strong with the right hand. Foul on Michael Swift. Javante Landy missed an opportunity to get free throws. He's got, he got his defender in the air. All he had to do was go up into his defender, yeah. yeah. He, he wasn't looking at the basket. Probably because he believed that his shot was gonna get blocked. That's mm -hmm. the athleticism of Benedict yeah. right there. But that's just that's just show that Benedict is in their head. Mm -hmm. Benedict is in their head. Cedric Shelby, the fan standout. The crowd loves him. <laughs> the fan them. favorite. Their That's last their um, on the Bucks. What's his name? Their fan favorite, Cedric Shelby. Bobby checking Portis. In. Yeah. He's their Bobby Portis. He's checking in at the scores table. Two attempts coming up for Gabriel. Shelby hit a three in last game against Edward Ward and made the crowd go ballistic. Ballistic is an understatement. It's an understatement. <laughs> this crowd winning. As you can, there you go right there. The crowd giving Cedric Shelby a round of applause. He's not getting a lot of minutes. He plays about two minutes a game. He's the he's the only sophomore on the team. Mm. He's the only sophomore. Gaber goes two for two from the free throw arc. Landy. Cedric Shelby guarding Landy. They iced the screen for Savannah State. Landy passes it, and we have a turnover again. Brandon Bidelman ends up with the ball, being guarded by Michael Swift. They kick it to Gabriel. Gabriel with a great move. Contested three-point. What a three. What a, wow. And Bendick is just having their way <laughs> against Savannah State right now. Yeah. 
If you're Savannah State, you got to fight for that name on the back of your jersey, even though you don't have a name. You got to fight for that last name you have. Wow. <laughs> I mean, Gabriel's good. I remember in last year's uh, SIAC tournament against Lamont Owen, Benedict was at, I'm correction, Lamont Owen was at the free throw line. All the, the opponent had to do was make the second free throw to ice the game. They didn't. Gabriel took the rebound, pulled up half court, and connected on a three, and they took the game, which made yeah. the play Savannah State in the SIAC mm -hmm. tournament. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gabriel's a very good shooter for Benedict. Yeah, he is. It's been a very tough game for Savannah State. If you're Benedict, this has been the exact game that you wanted. You came out shooting three, and you didn't miss. I mean, I'm just at a loss for words, Jamal. Yeah, and uh, after talking to Coach Brynack, I asked him about the game and what he looks forward to. He told me that, hey, this game is a test for us. It's going to show us where we are right now. And based off of that statement, I, and I'm pretty sure Coach Brynack said, we're not in a good place as a team right now. This is one of the better teams in the conference. And if this is one of the teams we're going to have to face deep in the playoffs, we're not looking too good right now. I said before, this is Greek night here at HR at here at HRC Arena here in South Carolina. Benedict breaks from their huddle. The five they have on the floor: Brandon Bidelman, Cedric Shelby, the fan favorite, Brendan Matumbo, Brandon Smith, and God Gabriel. Savannah State looking to break the huddle. They still in the huddle. <laughs> They're still in the huddle. Coach Barnett looks a little upset too. Giving Quay King an earful right now. At this point, you have to just fight for pride. You have to fight for pride. Yeah. And you can't walk out and say, "Oh, we got 30 yeah, balls." Yeah, you know, you fight for pride. It's one thing to get 20 balls. That happens, but you can't walk out here and say, "Hey, man, we got 30 balls. That's okay." Savannah State's five on the floor. AJ Plain, Javante Landy, Chancellor Wilson, Quay King, and Michael Swift. Oh, Landy wow. being guarded by the fan favorite C Cedric Shelby. They oh, lob it in the King. King. Passes it back out to Landy. Landy gets inside. What a move. Goes up strong mm -hmm. with the left hand. No good. Two shots coming up for Landy. Good strong move sure, by the sophomore. I'm sure that's the aggression Coach Broadnax is trying to get the red, his whole entire team to muster up. But I actually didn't realize it. Savannah State, they're down by 39 points. Almost down 40. Two attempts coming up for Landy. Hey, that's, I think that's actually an underrated ability that Javante Landy has. He's actually really good at drawing fouls. I think he was... A little bit more craftier like AJ that he could almost draw fouls at will, really. I know this is off topic, but Clyde Hill looked like Steve Harvey. <laughs> That's off topic. Lenny goes two for two from the free throw line. Whoa. Whoa, Brandon Smith thought Brian Bottomman was Brandy Moth. Lenny goes in strong again and he rims out. And it will remain Savannah State's ball. Landy went in strong into the yeah. painted area. Giving a nice shoulder yeah, in the chest. Yeah, a nice shoulder, yeah. And then going up very strong. Hey, at least close shots like that give your teammates the chance to get an offensive rebound. You see if Quay King can do the same thing that Javante Landy did. King goes a strong rejected by Britton Matuma right into the hands of A.J. Plain. Plain tried to dish it back off to King. What a save by Brandon Smith to God. Gabriel Cedric Shelby with the ball. One hand threads it to Brandon Smith. Savannah State bringing the double team. Smith kicks it to Gabriel. Gabriel, spin move, runs out. Follow a jump shot, tough shot. Rebound, Quay King. King bounce has it to Landy. Landy goes inside, penetrates, kicks it to Swift. Swift goes inside, doesn't see what he like. Passes it, oh, wide open shot from King. Bounces in from the free throw line area. It seems like Matumbo just gave him that shot. Yeah, because he hasn't been making those really, but he makes it if they're open. Whoa. Clyde Hill. The referee says the Savannah State player was out of bounds after Cedric Shelby was check out. Benedict's crowd not happy with that. It will remain Benedict's ball. I'm sorry it was off topic, but he does like Steve Harvey. I'm so sorry it was off topic. Sorry for our viewers. Warner Davis will now sub in for Savannah State. Sitting down will be A.J. Plain. Davis, a sophomore out of Miami, Florida. Tyvin McCutcheon gets it up the court, gets it into Brandon Bidelman. Lob past the Matumbo. He pump fakes, 
and was fouled by Michael Swift. He I was, heard that foul from all the way over here. Yeah, it was a hard foul, but <laughs> uh, Matumbo definitely has some long arms. A bit uncoordinated. If he was a little, bit more coordinated, oh, he, he would be nice if he was just a bit more coordinated. Ashanti Price and Tim Moore at the scores table for Benedict. Two shots coming up for Britton and Matumbo. A.J. Plain at the scores table as well for Savannah State. First free throw is no good off the back of the iron for Matumbo. Price and Moore will sub in for Gob Gabriel and Brandon Smith of the Benedict Tigers. While Warner Davis checks out, A.J. Plain will be sub in for him. Hey, as we said before, it's surprisingly, surprisingly, this hasn't been the Ashanti Price show. So Ashanti Price is only two of eight from the field. Those two makes he has is from three point range, two of four from three and 4-4 four four from the free throw line. They've really actually done a, a pretty solid job on Ashanti Price. Have a steal right here, Price. Whoa, he like one. I honestly don't know if I that was a layup <laughs> attempt or if that was supposed to be off the backboard. I mean, he soared in the air. He was, like, he was in the air for about two, three seconds. Yeah, he was kind of gliding a little bit. <laughs> he was gliding. Now, I honestly don't know if it looked like a layup attempt, but like at the last second off the backboard, I really wasn't sure. I believe I thought we had free throw attempts coming up for Benedict, nah, but they I think don't. Out of hey, uh, co head coach Artis Maddox is pleading to Clyde Hill that he should be shooting too, but they don't see it. Law pass, Price jumps up in the air like Calvin Johnson, one hand snags it, comes up the court. 19 saves left. What can he do? He can jump. And they call the off ball foul on Zion Davis. That'll be Zion Davis' second personal foul. Savannah State's 15 foul. Oh, steal by Javante Landy. Two on one break. Savannah State has. Landy lob pass to Davis. It was tipped by Bottom and right into the hands of Landy. Savannah State has a two on one break. Price, I'm sorry, playing with the ball. Goes up strong. Great contest by Matumbo. They had a two on one break. Didn't get no and point. Spider Man, who was shorter than Zion Davis. Ashanti Price for three misses. Bondo Man did a great job getting up there. He actually jumped pretty high. Let's keep my Zion Davis. They had more numbers athletic. again. As Zion Davis makes the layup. In Zion Davis is taller and more athletic than Bidle Man. Bidle Man disrupted the lob pass. With steal by Michael Swift. He saves it right into the hands of Javante Landy. Two on one break. What a move by Landy. Behind the back pass to Davis. I think Benedict won a little bit of a travel. And Benedict yeah. telling his, I said Benedict, excuse me, Coach Bronick's telling his team to get up. Get up. <laughs> Price splits the double team. We'll have a foul on A.J. Plain. He wants his guys to play hard yeah. throughout the rest of this game. It'll be Savannah State's team 16 foul. Warner Davis now at the score table for Savannah State. He'll come in for Zion Davis and Juan Gordon as well. He'll sub in for A.J. Plain. Trey Mays coming in for Savannah State. He'll come in for Chancellor Wilson. Coach Brodnick's empty in his bench. I think, he's what, I think it's just one starter. Yeah. Chancellor. Chancellor Wilson. Actually, no, he didn't start this game. They bring the swing of the ball around the perimeter. Savannah State trapping everyone they see. Bidelman penetrates the defense. Floater off the backboard. No good. I mean, Price snags it with one hand, keeps it to McCutcheon for three. He, he is good. He rattles. Didn't jump he didn't even rebound. jump. He just put his hand out and tipped it to himself. Oh. A man Calvin amongst boys. Calvin knocks down the three. Swift penetrates the defense, goes up strong with the right hand. Good take by Michael Swift. Nice take. He extended the ball out so yeah. the defender can't reach it and block his shot. Tim Moore in the backcourt being guarded by Chancellor Wilson. Running out of dribble. Swift tries to help, but he leaves Ashante Price wide open. He takes his time. This time it rims out. Trey Mays with the rebound, but no, Brittany Matumbo gets it. One of the best three-point shooters in the conference. Misses a wide open three. McCutcheon rebound. I'm sorry, jump shot. No good. Rebound Warner Davis. You don't see that too often. Well, probably because he's too open. You know, yeah. best three-point shooter in the conference. Probably get a lot of contested looks. <laughs> 
Good hedge by Matumbo on Swift. They have a mismatch. Swift loses the dribble with a great crossover move. Swift goes up strong with the left hand. Oh, wow. That was a great possession that was a great by great move by Michael Swift. Especially losing the ball, too. Yeah. Getting it back and finishing. The freshman out of Jacksonville, Florida, making his presence felt with, these, with the two back-to-back -back points. Savannah State's doing a good job now, forcing some turnovers, trapping. I'm actually surprised they didn't trap sooner. Yeah. They were trapping earlier, but when Benedict had went on the initial run, to extend their lead to about 10, 15 points. I'm surprised Savannah State wasn't trapping then to try to force some turnovers. I agree with you. 70, 40 to 71 to 40 lead. Benedict hold. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network on the Benedict College Sports Athletics. Alongside, alongside me is Jamal Rowland. and I'm your host, Travis Petty. Both teams take a timeout, and we will take a commercial break. Picker-upper. Bounty picks up messes quicker, and each sheet is two times more absorbent, so you can use less. He's an eight. He's a nine. Bounty, the quicker picker-upper. Supermarket sushi, really? No. Wait, Troy, you work here? I'm never not working. Like head and shoulder scalp shield technology, up to 100% dandruff protection, even between washes. Never not working, huh? <laughs> oh, Troy, you're such a good teacher. Yeah, I know. <laughs> never not working. Never not working. Never ever not working. Are you serious? Never not working. Welcome everyone back to the Black College Sports Network. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside, my, alongside me is my partner in crime, Jamal Rowland. We had a timeout by Savannah State. They will receive possession down by 31. 71 to 40, Benedict leads. The five on the floor for both teams. A.J. Plain, Chancellor Wilson, Juan Gordon, Zion Davis, and Javante Landy. Plain kicks it to Wilson. Wilson being trapped, looking. Kicks it down low to Landy. Landy pump fake. Out of control. Lies it up to Plain. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Plain kicks it to Davis. Davis goes baseline. Four on move. Jump shot. No good. Rebound Malachi McCoy. The five on the floor for the Benedict Tiger. Malachi McCoy, as I just said before, Brandon Smith, Calvin McCutcheon, Ashanti Price, and Malachi McCoy. Now we have a kick ball in the backcourt by Savannah State. It will remain Benedict's ball. Yeah, Price being guarded by AJ Plain. So Landy almost with a steal. It was Pope. It will remain Benedict's possession. Savannah State now is Apply a little bit more pressure in the backcourt. Benedict, seven minutes and 21 seconds left. I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't I mean to cut you I say that, Coach Matt is calling a timeout here. I believe it was a full timeout. Before that was a media timeout. And Clyde Hill and Ray Lightfoot talking to head coach Artis Maddox. Timeout. A full timeout. We have. They'll take a full timeout, and so will we. We'll take a full timeout as well. <laughs> we'll be right back. You guys are watching the Black College Sports Network. Standard protection that's never not working. Head and shoulder scalp shield technology. If you think all pads are exactly the same, think again. This is Always Ultra Thin's reinvented with the Always Triple Protection System. This pad wicks gushes 90% faster, absorbs even more so you can feel dry, and locks odors in. Rethink your pad for up to 100% leak-free and odor-free comfort with the totally reinvented Always Ultra Thin's. This is always like never before.
Thank you guys for what you do for HBCU Athletics. This is a fantastic avenue for, for, for all of us. This is our ESPN, so we, 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 we love what you guys do. Brian, AD, Roy, all you guys at BCSN, we really appreciate what it is that you guys, you guys do for us. Welcome back, everyone, to the Black Hawk Sports Network. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside, my, alongside me is Jamal Rowland, the Benedict College Tigers, holding a 31-point lead. They just get it across half court to Tim Moore. He pitched it to Malachi McCoy. That was too easy. Scratch what I said. And now have a 33-point lead. Wilson now with the ball. Passes it to Plain. They swing it around the perimeter. Plain looking. Great backdoor cut. And Davis smokes the layup. No good. It was a great backdoor cut. Landy saves it. Oh. I think he wanted to dunk it, but yeah. didn't jump high enough yeah. to put it in. And then last second, oh, lay it up, not high enough. Michael Swift was now subbed in for Juan Gordon, and God Gabriel will check in for Tim Moore. Calvin McCutcheon penetrates inside, looking, lobs it up to God Gabriel. Steal by AJ Plain, they call Ooh. a foul. Ooh. I definitely disagree with that call because yeah. he went underneath him and got it. I mean, there really wasn't much contact. I think, but at the same time, if it looks like a foul, then, you know, the rest of the human, they're going to call a foul. But even though it may look like a foul just because there was, like, heads got knocked, you know, flopping back. Not really flopping, but, you know, what's the word? Hitching back and, yeah. you know, that, things of that nature. And it's a hard steal. I don't think it's a foul. They don't call a foul. Austin Lewis was sub in for Zion Davis. Javante Landy wanted a foul. He's looking at Ray Lightfoot Jr. Koi King will now sub in for Chancellor Wilson. Coach Horace Broadnecks talking to Chancellor Wilson before he goes sits down. Gabriel inbounds it to Brandon Smith being guarded by Austin Lewis. Lewis receiving help from Michael Swift. They trap. Smith, cross court pass to Gabriel. Gabriel, one hand threat to McCutcheon. Nine seconds left on the shot clock. Savannah State still trapping. Brandon Smith being guarded by Lewis. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Receives a screen from McCoy. Swift with the hedge and they call a foul on Michael Swift. Yeah, it's a little bit of a hip yeah. check there. The bail out. There. No, he, he it got him a little, yeah. little bit of a hit check. You know, and they got a little handsy too, but that's just the physicality of Savannah yeah. State. Right, Lightfoot Jr. bounce to pass it to Brandon Smith to shoot his first free throw. Smith, good from the first free throw. Second attempt coming up. Smith, one or two from the free throw line. Austin Lewis saves it. Plain pushes the pace. Goes inside, pump fake, kicks it to Landy. Landy being double teamed, spin move, rejected oh. by Malachi McCoy. He missed Michael Swift on the pass yeah. there. McCutcheon steps out of bounds. They had the transition that they wanted, but McCutcheon steps out of bounds. The leading scorer for Benedict is a, guess who it is? Ooh. Malachi McCoy, a double-double, 14 points, 11 rebounds. Wow. A top 10 rebounder in the conference. Swift with a floater and it's good. Good off the dribble move by Michael Swift. So far, nobody from St. Oh, Juan State. Gordon with steal. Floater by Gordon off the backboard. No good. Brandon Smith ends up with the rebound and they call a foul. Warner Davis. Foul was on Warner Davis. Now, check this out, though. For as far as Savannah State, nobody from Savannah State has cracked double digits. <laughs> Chancellor Wilson is the leading scorer with only nine points so far, with about six minutes to go in the game. Free throws coming up for Smith. Connects on the first to give him 14 points. Him and McCoy are in a race for who's going to be the leading scorer for Benedict. Smith takes the lead with 15 points. Michael Swift with six points. Good behind the back move. Lost his dribble, regained it, kicks it out to Austin Lewis. 
Lewis kicks it to the corner for playing. Plank goes baseline, bounce pass it to King. King, good check, and one count the basket and the foul. Three point play opportunity coming up for Quay King. You sound good, Travis. You sound good. You're doing good, man. Quay King with eight points in this game. Shooting his third free throw of the game. King connects on the free throw. Have a 30 second timeout for the Benedict Tigers. We're going to go through a little stat sheet stuffer. As I said before, Savannah's, I'm, correction, my partner, Savannah State, none of their players have even broken the double figure mark. The leading scorer for Savannah State is Quay King. Tied for him is Chancellor Wilson. For the Benedict College Tigers, Brandon Smith has taken the lead for the leading scorer with 15 points. But Malachi McCoy has 11 rebounds, a top 10 rebounder in the SIAC Conference. Benedict has came in here and absolutely, I've never seen Savannah State give up 76 points in my three years of going here. They've just given up 76 points to the Benedict Tigers. Now, mind you, Benedict is a very good team. They shot the lights out of the ball. Yeah. So, hey. Yeah. Savannah State pressing in the backcourt. Warner Davis in the game alongside A.J. Plain, Michael Swift, Quay King, and Austin Lewis. God Gabriel bounce pass it to McCutcheon. McCutcheon bounce pass it to Gabriel. They pass it up McCoy. They just get it up. Brandon Smith lobs it up to McCoy. McCoy skies in the air. Players fight for it. Bodies hit the floor. Michael Swift has a wide open lane. They call a foul. I wonder who the foul was on. They're calling it on Malachi McCoy. Oh, if I was on Warner Davis of Savannah Warner. State. Oh, wow. Shooting one of one free throws, Calvin McCutcheon. Definitely took away showtime. <laughs> free throw coming up for McCutcheon. McCutcheon, no good off the back iron. Correction. Here in the double bonus. Is Benedict second free throw attempt coming up for McCutcheon? McCutcheon with eight points in his game. McCutcheon now with nine points. Swift looking, being guarded by McCutcheon. Swift looking, good crossover move, spin side. What a take by Mc Swift, but he was breaking test by McCutcheon. It was a block. Gabriel looking up, looking up, McCutcheon. Dishes it inside, loses his footing. Oh, wow. King is on his back. <laughs> oh, your ref called travel. I didn't, I didn't call it travel. Yeah, King Clyde was all, Hill. King was riding him. <laughs> Clyde Hill calling the travel there. And hopefully King is okay. King is hobbling to the sideline. Chancellor Wilson will replace him. Hopefully King is okay. Swift now being guarded by Brandon Bideman. Brandon Bideman, God Gabriel. Swift behind the back move, spin move. Swift jump shot, good again. Good. Nice shot. That's a nice shot by Swift. Savannah State still pressing. Brandon Bideman, cross court pass to Brandon Smith. Smith gets inside, looking, looking. Kicks it out to Bideman. They set up the offense with 19 seconds left on the shot clock, up by 30. McCoy couldn't handle it. Wilson. Doesn't go for it. McCoy with the layup. No good. Gabriel gets the rebound. Skies over Chancellor Wilson, and we have a foul. The foul was on number 30. Warner Davis, Zion Davis at the scores table for Savannah State. Two attempts coming up for Gabriel. Second free throw is good for Gabriel, who from a surprise only has eight points. That's a surprise. God Gabriel. Has, God Gabriel only has eight points. He just connected on his free throw. He now has nine. Davis will now sub in for Michael Swift. Gabriel connects on both free throws. Now has double digits. That's four players from Benedict in double figures. Double figures. Benedict running a 2-3 zone, playing, trying to get everyone lined up. 
Plain looking. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. Davis now with the ball. They swing it around. They get it inside to Lewis. Lewis gets it inside to Wilson. Wilson with the left hand jump. Hook. No good. Rebound Malachi McCoy. It's 13 rebound. Gabriel. No one picked on Malachi McCoy. Good defense by Austin Lewis and they call a foul. McCoy hits the ground hard. Hopefully he's okay. For Benedict, this will be the 27th and 28th free throw of the game. And so far they have made 21 free throws. 21 of their 79 points scored at the free throw line. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. First attempt coming up from McCoy. Rims out. Second attempt coming up from McCoy. McCoy looking to tie Brandon Smith for the leading score. And Brandon Smith, and he does as he connects on the second free throw. If you take away the 23 free throws made by Benedict, they will have 57 points. 57 points were scored on court to, so far, Savannah State's 47, but including their free throws. But if you cut that by half, let's say they made half, wait, I said 23, right? Half of that would be about, let's say 12 free throws. Then, excuse me, as Chancellor goes up and yeah. goes in with Chancellor the Chancellor Wilson is the first player for Savannah State to break the double figures it's mark. 11 he points. now has 11 points. Mm -hmm. Cut that, if you cut that in half with a 12, what, 57 plus 12? Warner Davis, 69. tipped, saved by Zion Davis. Playing, goes up strong with the left hand, no good. They can't Outlet they pass to Matumbo. Showtime coming up, dunk time uh, for Brittner Matumbo. Yeah. I know, I know he wanted that one bad. But yeah, Benedict will have 69 points. Well, now 71's with the two, but it's a much better game. You're only down 20. Davis looking, get it inside to Jordan Michael. He goes up strong, and we have a foul. Two shots coming up for Jordan. Let's see who they called that on. Ashante Price, that's who the foul was called. Jordan Michael with four points in this ball game. He'll be shooting his first free throws. And we have a media timeout. Coming out of this timeout, we have two free throws coming up from Jordan Michael. He's first in this ball game. I want to thank you guys for watching the Black College Sports Network. I'm your host, Charles Petty. Alongside, alongside me is Jamal Rowland. We'll be right back as we take a commercial break. is a premium health and wellness tea line focused on bringing delicious yet healthy tea blends to the community. Filled with an abundance of vitamins and antioxidants, we work to blend teas with exotic spices and fruits to produce scrumptious and wholesome beverages. So check us out at MyMajestees.com. That's M-Y-M-A-J-E-S-T-E-A-S dot -E com. My Majesties, an Urban Passport member. Let's face it, shopping for insurance can be time consuming. That's why when it comes to your auto, home, and life insurance needs, make things simple and trust the experts at all. Welcome everyone back to the Black Color Sports Network. We have two free throw attempts coming up from Jordan Michael. His first free throw attempts in the game. The five on the floor for the Benedict College Tigers is Brandon Bidelman, Frankie Denard, Brittany Matumbo, Gob Gabriel, and a newcomer, Number 35, Samari Murray for Savannah State. Jordan Michael, he connects on the first free throw. Javante Landing will sub in for Zion Davis. The five on the floor for Savannah State. A.J. Plain, Javante Landing, Jordan Michael, Warner Davis, and Chancellor Wilson. Michael Slew checking in at the scores table. And Michael connects on both free throws. Michael Swift will sub in for Jordan Michael. Quake King, who's the... Leading score on average for Savannah State. Oh, Three of a, 12 from the field. It's a major mismatch down below with Swift guarding Brittany Matumbo. Three of 12 from the field. That's 
with only nine points. Bidelman collides to the floor, colliding with body. It's a we have a foul on Michael Swift guarding Brendan Mutombo. It's a major no, correction. Major mismatch down below. The referee could have, could have let Michael yeah. Swift have that. I mean, you know, that really wasn't like, much of a, a foul, yeah. like a holding or a push. But I mean, that's didn't just feel that. trying to stand his ground. And that's what Coach Hoyt Broadness is, is talking to Swift about. First free throw is good from a Especially tumble. Especially with that big of a difference. Yeah. I mean, come on. I mean, Swift is only 6'2". Second attempt was missed by Matumbo. Two minutes and 48 seconds left. Cedric Shelby at the scores table. The fan favorite. I don't think the fans realize the Yvick's in the game. And alongside oh, him is. is Brandon, e I'm sorry, Benjamin Emi. Cedric Shelby back into the game. And Jordan Michael has subbed in for Michael Swift. Plain looking, lobs it up to Landy. Landy looking. Plain passes it out to Davis. Davis gets it inside, loses the handle on it, right into the hands, but he fights for the ball back. Warner Davis, the left-handed floater is good. Mm. Timeout Savannah State. Head coach Horace Broadnix wants to talk it over, and so will we. Both teams going to time out. You're watching the Black College Sports Network. They will help you get the coverage that fits your needs while helping you bundle your life, home, and auto policies. Bundling saves you money, sure, but it also saves you time so you can enjoy the things that matter most even more. Contact me, Tammy Haynes, your local agent, for a free personalized insurance quote. Allstate, are you in good hands? Charmin Ultra Soft has so much cushiony softness, it's hard for your family to remember. They can use less. Sweet pillows of softness. This is soft. Holy Charmin. Oh, excuse me. Roll it back, everybody. Sorry. Charmin Ultra Soft is so cushiony soft, you'll want more. But it's so absorbent, you can use less. So it's always worth it. Now, what did we learn about using less? You gotta roll everybody <laughs> we all go why not enjoy the go with Charmin thank you guys for what you do for HBCU athletics this is a fantastic avenue for 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 all of us this is our ESPN so we we we, we love what you guys do Brian. welcome back everyone to HRC to HRC arena the Benedict College Tigers with a 30 point lead in this second half I'm your host, Travis Petty, alongside, my, alongside me is Jamal Rowland. Frankie Denard gives it to Benjamin Emmy. Emmy hands it off to the fan freight, Cedric Shelby. Shelby push past the Frankie Denard. Frankie being guarded by Javante Landy. Denard looking, being trapped by Landy and Wilson. It was tipped. Murray now with the ball, gets it inside to Matumbo. Matumbo, pump fake, goes up. It's a shot clock violation, the first of the game by Savannah State. Benedict Home going with the whole new lineup with Cedric Shelby, Frankie Denard, Benjamin Emmy, and Brendan Matumbo and Samari Murray. Switching to a 2 3 zone is ben Benedict. Warner Davis being trapped by Murray. They kick it to Plain. Plain pump fakes. Keeps it to the corner to Davis. But it was out of bounds. Samari Murray passes it into Cedric Shelby. Looking to score again for the second time in two nights. He lines it up to Emmy. Emmy kicks it to Denard. Denard, he pulls up for three. No good. A rebound, Javante Landy. He gets it. Looking. He kicks it to Plain. Plain was open, but he decides to flow for the 17-footer. It's no good. A rebound by Landy. Good rebound. He goes up. Misses. Rebound, Cedric Shelby, who decides to push the pace. Crossover moves, but loses it, and will call a foul on A.J. Plain. No, he stepped out. He stepped out of bounds uh, when he had his hand on the ball, I'm on the poke. Kobe Sewell will now sub in for Savannah State. 
A.J. Plain will sit down and Juan Gordon will sub in for Jordan Michael as Juan Gordon subs in and Trey Mays comes into the game. Chancellor Wilson takes the seat. Frankie Denard being guarded by Warner Davis. They get inside the Brennan Mutombo. Sewell helps. He looks. Lobs up to Benjamin Emmy. Emmy being guarded by Trey Mays. 13 seconds left on the shot clock. Denard almost loses the handle. Gets out of it. Keeps it to the corner. Cedric Shelby for three. Rims out. Rebound Murray. Murray gets it to Mutombo. Mutombo in the post looking. Puts up a shot from behind the backboard. Sewell tips it right into his oh. hand, but he saves it. Kobe Sewell is it's, in the game. Yeah, but, Another player who doesn't get a lot of minutes. Well, Sewell stepped out of bounds. It'll remain bitch Benedict's ball. Kobe averages about two minutes a game. He's also a fan favorite at Savannah State, too, as well. When he gets in the game, the crowd gets excited. When he does anything good, the crowd gets excited, too. Benjamin Emmy looking, kiss at the Cedric Shelby. Shelby for three, no D3, good. Three, two at that. Rebound that was Murray. Deep. I mean, Warner Davis hopped on his back trying to get the steal, and you know the foul was on him. That is a deep three, two at that. It was a deep three. Samari Murray shooting his first free throw of the game. No good. Shot clock will be off after these free throws. Four, there are 24 seconds remaining of this game. Brittany Mutombo snags the rebound over three Savannah State players. Savannah State has a four guard lineup right now. That's one of the problems for Savannah State is that they have a lot of guards and wings. But don't have the height, yeah. They don't really have much of a height advantage. Sewell looking. Sewell no good, falls to the floor. Rebound Benjamin Emmy. Emmy trying to dribble, you got, you can't let a big man. Shelby from three over Juan Gordon, no good. See what a tip of Frankie Denard to Benjamin Emmy, and now we'll end it. The Benedict College Tigers keep their undefeated home record alive, winning this game 83 to 53. They improve on the year to 17 and two, and they extend their winning streak to four games. Savannah State riding this two game skid after this defeat. Savannah State now eight and 10 on the year. Both teams will face off again this Saturday at Tiger Arena as the Savannah State girls play against the Benedict girls as well on February 3rd at 2 p.m. And for the Savannah State men's team, they will face off as well at, at Tiger Arena on February 3rd at 4 p.m. We want to thank you guys for listening. I'm your host, Travis Petty. Alongside me is Jamal Roller. We want to thank everyone for tuning in to Black College Sports Network as we have both teams are going to, I'm correction, Benedict is going to sing their anthem. We're going to have Coach Artis Maddox talk to us. Yeah, definitely stick around for that. We want to ask yeah. him a few questions. Ask him about the game and the victory that they achieved today. They played a good game today. They played very well. Leading scorers for tonight's game. Brandon Smith leading away with 15 points. Malachi McCoy with 15 points. Chesley Wilson, the only player with a cracking double figures with 11 points. Man, oh man, Benedict shooting 47% from the field, 25 of 53, while Savannah State 29% from the field, 18 of 62. They had more field goal attempts. However, they just couldn't crack the lid off the basket. Man, Benedict 10 of 22 from the three-point line is 45%, while Savannah State Knocking down only one three, one of eight. That's 12% from the three-point line. They don't take many threes, let alone make many threes. While Benedict, Benedict, however, they will take and make those threes that they're taking. However, those Savannah State did great at the free throw line. 16 of 17 from the free throw line. They made their free throws. However, they gave up 32 free throw attempts, 23 of 32 from the free throw line. Benedict was... Offensively, on the offensive board, I'm actually surprised at what Savannah State did. 
17 rebounds on the offensive end and giving up only 12 offensive rebounds. Savannah State actually did great. They just couldn't capitalize on those rebounds. But they started doing better in the second half when it came to second chance points. It's finally scoring nine second chance points when the first half had zero second chance points. Though. So Savannah State, you know, got that reality check, that benchmark to see where they are against a good team such as Benedict. Real quick, I just got two questions for you real quick. We have Coach Maddox here, the head coach for the Benedict, Benedict men's basketball team. Real quick, so tell me just uh, what what are your thoughts out of today's game? And for, actually first tell me the trust that you have in your team. It looks like you should give them a lot of rope and allow them to play their game. Yeah, because um, I have a, a veteran group. I think I have like seven seniors. So they've been, a, some of them been in a, a part of the program for three to four years, so they know the offense in and out, they know the defense in and out. So I just give them the freedom to just play their game within the system. Okay, and the last question I wanted to ask you too, just tell me about the you know the respect the, that you have for Coach Broadnex and how good of a coach he is and the challenge he brings to you. Oh, nah, I was, um, me and Coach Broadnex had a long conversation, a 20 and 30 minute conversation um, during their shoot around today. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we're, we're friends, you know, as coaches, as colleagues, you know, we're friends. And um, I, I was just joking with him. I like, man, you know, I'm still bitter about you beating me in the championship two years ago. <laughs> and he said, I, I bet you are the way you beat me at home last year. But we just <laughs> joked about that. But I got much respect for Coach Broadnick and his um, Savannah State Tigers, man. We got to see him again Saturday. So um, we got to get prepared for that one. Okay. And real quick, I know I told you two questions, but last question, how are you going to prepare your team and not have them be too high after this Wednesday go into a hostile environment in Savannah State? Hey, we just got to stay humble and hungry at the same time. Mm -hmm. We're happy but not satisfied. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy about the win, but I'm not satisfied. We could have played way better. We gave up, I think, um, I don't know what the final score was. I think Here we only gave up. Right we had 17 points the first half, and I think we gave up like 43, I mean 40 to 45 points the second half. And it's, it's human nature to just relax, and we can't do that. Mm -hmm. Just because we hold teams in the first half to a low, low scoring, we got to do the same thing in the second half to bring that energy and that effort and rebound. Well, I thank you and your time. I appreciate that very right, much. Thank appreciate you, man. you coming by and talking with us. Thank you. Once again, that was Coach Maddox, the head coach for Benedict. Thank you for sticking around with us. This is the Black College Sports Network at Benedict College Athletics. AD Roy 